everyone, and we are live with the Razcast. Hello, guys. Welcome to the stream. We got our boys, Mono, Terry, and the Fresh Baked Goods here. Uh, wow. So happy you guys are here with us. Welcome. If you guys are brand new to the Razcast, Razcast is a weekly, every Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern uh, podcast. We run live on my Twitch channel. Uh, you can also listen to it on Spotify and uh, YouTube uh, later on in the week. But we talk about all things Hell Loose, gaming, and we have some experts as well come over um, to talk. So this week is update 13.5 and the roadmap. So who better to bring on than the experts? So let's go around the horn here and introduce ourselves. Mono, you're right next to me. So let's go ahead and start with you. Hi, I'm Mono. Oh, that's so, that I can just like <laughs> hear your videos immediately. <laughs> um, yeah, hi everyone. Um, I don't know if you don't know me, I make uh YouTube videos on Hello Deuce and a bunch of other things, uh, a bunch of other games. Uh, this is going on the YouTube archive, so check that out on my channel as well as i guess uh fresh is this going on on your channel as well nope no okay <laughs> i'm not gonna take my channel with this <laughs> somebody in my audience was saying you're a good tanker oh, and I, uh, I had to disagree because of your opinions on the looks, <laughs> the looks. but it's you know. terrible <laughs> the looks uh well nice to meet you mono terry who are you uh well i'm terry i'm kind of like the british version and better version of mono <laughs> i suppose we're we're, cla <laughs> we're uh divine classy yeah again you know loads of hell like loose content started playing it i think when it released in early access or just after um starting to branch out a little bit more from hell let loose but yeah awesome well, happy to yeah. have you and then fresh my co-host yes. i'm here almost every week um i too <laughs> play hell at loose if you didn't didn't know there's a pattern going on here um i'm on the youtubes awesome so thank you guys again for being here i appreciate it i mean i think we got like some of the biggest names in hell loose here today if you guys are brand new to the razcast if you want to ask questions feel free to ask questions in the chat um one thing is we may not answer it right away like i normally do on stream and mono has his little <laughs> thing his kid's toy uh we might not answer it's it right the, away uh, Rift breaker oh Flush. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, might not answer it right away, but we will get right back to it. So again, today we're talking about the updates and the roadmap. So update 13.5 just dropped. So what does it include? Nothing. Is this uh, like a quiz? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean basically a lot of fixed the, a lot of fixed rock piles is what I got music? from it. Yeah. So um, a lot of what? Fixed rock piles. So it yeah. really, yeah, I mean, I'll go ahead and show it on screen here as we're kind of going through so you guys can go ahead and see it. Um, but there's really, uh, I mean, there's a lot of back-end changes, it seems like. Uh, they did change uh, the, the Easter eggs. So they got rid of all the Easter eggs. So I guess. I mean, that, I will say it. it's kind of bad yeah. that my favorite thing is the unfucked Kursk. That's like, <laughs> yeah. that's the best yeah. thing about this update. And now I'm learning I the majority of people didn't even know it was broken. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people did not know it was broken for sure. Um, yeah. I haven't played Kursk yet, unfortunately. I saw Kursk was playing on on you guys' server, but it wasn't Kursk Night, and I was disappointed. You're missing out. Kursk Night was in there yesterday. It was in there before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that map! I love that map. So I'm glad I, to I see think it back. going forward we're gonna swap it out every other day. So it'll be like Kursk Day, then Kursk Night the next day. Yeah. Did anyone play um, Stalingrad? Mm -mm. I haven't I played it yet. Some people uh, on TikTok were telling me they just played it uh, on console, and it was a lot better than it used to be. Yeah, Squid was saying uh, so it runs better. That's good. I, I will say, like, I think the maps themselves, I've been noticing, like, a consistent 130 to 140 FPS, where normally I'm sitting at, like, 90 to 100. So I've noticed more, like, immediate changes, but on the flip side, I've also noticed a lot more like lagging too. Like the rubber banding on console is terrible. But I played last night, Mono, you and I played. I was sitting on the back of a tank lagging like crazy. So yeah. I don't know. And I fresh, I think you mentioned too, you were you were rubber banding like nonstop. Yeah, I don't know what to blame for that though. I don't know if it's the game, if it's a server, if it's a server provider. I have no idea. 
but maybe I, I am getting VoIP. Provider. I'm getting VoIP shit too, still. So that's not great. I uh, was getting that a couple of weeks ago, but now it's gone. Apparently, yeah. now it's so, fixed. So I figured out uh, how to fix the the uh, VoIP, and I found that for whatever reason, if you turn it off and on, like disconnect and reconnect three times, and it's always three times, it works. Oh, I, I can't don't know even why get it is. That. It'll just get stuck on disconnecting. Oh, okay. my my way of fixing it was actually using a VPN. Like if I connected uh, without the VPN, it would never work. Not even restarting the game or anything. And then I uh, VPN to Argentina. It didn't work. I VPN to Miami and it worked. Yeah. So but that was pretty there's like a regional. Bad. Sorry. That was uh, pre update, that yes. Before. That was yeah, pre update. Uh, you two are getting the issues now, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are all the issues I've been facing since the update. So mm -hmm. that might, like, has there been an influx of new players or, or, or you know, a lot of people <laughs> returning? Dude, uh, on our yeah. server, especially. I don't can understand. You, can you pull that, that, uh, that graph? So we, yeah, we can pull graphs. Too? Yeah, we can pull graphs on, on, uh, battle metrics. So if you guys don't know, we, we run, uh, <laughs> A content creation server called saucy muffins beer house and squid cafe play it if you want um but we we have graphs that can show like how many new players versus returning players we have or overall players and like the new player numbers are huge i haven't looked at the steam charts but i would imagine like there's a huge influx of new players oh no good. so no. i i yeah that's, it's, that's it's, it's just us it's just us and op that are having it i checked a lot of the more popular servers Yes. Yeah, I, I played on. One in the chat. I mean, I, I've been checking out Steam charts, and it's not. It hasn't seen a massive influx of new players. Like, yeah, no. for some reason, just like a couple servers, including ours, like one day late March, just got fucking bombarded with new players. And I don't. Mike I've been trying. I've been looking for answers, and I cannot find a thing. Yeah, I mean the the new players are just huge. Well, yeah, you can see the update, the main update. That was but... before the update. That was that was end of March, right there. What the hell? I don't know. Was there a sale? Uh, this, oh, I don't there was a much. sale. There was a sale. Before, actually. Oh, but wasn't that before that though? Um, like yeah, mid March. Was, I mean, yeah, I think it was like but, mid to late March. Yeah. Well, like I said, I went through all the data for like every server we're partnered with and some other ones, and for some reason, ours and OP were the only two. So I don't know if ours was mentioned somewhere or what. I I don't know. So we've been playing with a lot of new players. I don't know necessarily know if everyone else has. Yeah, and Huss said he got huge numbers at the end of March too. So, I mean, yeah, we've all been doing good. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's nice to see that the game is like still alive and well. Because I, I always hear on TikTok and like some of the other uh, platforms, like they're just not getting nearly as many. Uh, uh, oh, sorry, they're they're getting more and more people to to find out the game and like. I mean, everyone's confused as to, like what game this is all the time and like. I don't know. So like I just don't know what's driving specifically the the uh the launch of Hellloose, but I'm hoping T seventeen really like leverages us as well to keep driving the game because I mean like I can't tell you how many people have said that I helped them get the game or like I know Mono, yeah. Terry, Fresh, like you guys like yeah. always, always have people, oh I got the game because of your video or whatever the case is. So, yeah. Yeah. That's a lot um, of comments. Yeah. Um, also, you know what's not working? Just like the servers, the car ninety eight reload animation. Oh, yeah, that's like yes. the biggest failure of this update by oh far. Oh my god! So I, I I can duplicate it if it's a full clip, right? Is that how it is? Because uh, every only, time, yeah, yeah. But I don't think it does it if you if you reload like a little bit. It's only like Correct. a full. Yeah, I I was using the the Mosin today, and it just does it nonstop. Oh my god. I just want to know how little... stuff like this goes through the cracks. You know? That's it's such it. a simple thing. And that's yeah. that's why it might go through. Because it's such a simple thing, maybe they don't bother testing that. That's crazy. Well, yeah. Should have been a PT for this. You know, they was... changed the, the, the PT. Like, yeah. Like, this this the animation. Did, did they change anything to the Car 98 or Bolt Actions? No. Like, I don't think they did anything to it. So my I guess understand how got, the up. My guess has got fucked up when they were changing other animations. Like, the, they did something different in a code, and it, like, trickled down effect into that. That yeah, seems probably. to always happen with this game. When they Maybe fix like the one timing. thing or change one yeah. thing, something else gets changed. Yeah, that makes sense. That's yeah, so weird. Maybe maybe they were also working on new animations for the bolt actions, yeah, and you know they didn't actually they didn't intend to include that in the patch, but they did or something. I don't know. 
That's weird. Yeah. I mean, I mean that what's is clear is that, that, that the QA team needs to, like, you know, take note of this and say, like, yo, next time we're going to patch the game, like, maybe we try all the animations at least once yeah. or twice, you know? Well, Cause you know, it's when every um, single time. You know, all the news came out, was it last year or the year before when they were doing the Worms NFT and then they stopped that? Yeah. And then other news came out about how Team 17 run their business and how overworked and understaffed and underpaid the yeah. QA team is. Maybe they yeah. haven't sorted it. But like, it, why would they just that? leverage what they already have? The, uh, you know, they have the, uh, the PTE already. So like, that, yeah, this is something one. that could have easily, I mean, it was within what, the first couple hours someone found that, you know? Oh, yeah, it's a minor a patch. Really? It's, yeah. it's mainly a patch for, yeah, the amount of stuff they've uh, realigned in all the maps. Yeah, yeah, I really wish that they didn't call it an update. Should I have been called like, a patch. Yeah, I feel yeah. like the, the yeah, marketing on it was a little or off. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, Hella Loose is very notorious for having updates and then having patches. So I think by calling it an update, it's, it's like, not that the marketing isn't correct. It's just like the way that Hella Loose, like, you know, fans know the game have a certain expectation. So when you say update, it is a little misleading in the sense of context for Hella Loose. But yeah. yeah, it really, I mean, it had a ton of changes. And some of the things that I'm really excited for, um, I know chat is, is also mentioning, like, it, that's possibly what's what's uh, causing uh, some of the issues for the lag, but it's the analytics, man. I'm, I was surprised that Hellus didn't have analytics. And I think I found that up from Gritson originally. Yeah. I asked him. Um, oh, it did. PTs did, but. Did it really? But yeah, the. If you look at probably Minor Mono's like a performance guide, the very first performance stuff he put out, it was turn game analytics off because you get better performance. What? Yeah, yeah. PTE so... still had, and that's why the PTEs usually are in like shit. Yeah, but like I'll tell you what, I mean the analytics should be pretty good. I'm excited for that because like, um... actually, actually, hold on, that's actually a, a good point because maybe that's what's causing all the server starting could. that we're seeing. Like yeah, that could very well, easily very well could. be the cause yeah. of yeah, just like, it makes sense. you know, information get, getting sent from each player to the server. Maybe, maybe it's something that they'll, they'll turn on and off from time to time. Like if they figure out some of the main bugs, they have it in place where they can have it on. Um, but there, there's somewhere else and we'll get to the roadmap in a second. I know there's another part where they have more game analytics come in too. So like, this yeah. is just like the first wave of game analytics. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm just kind of surprised that it didn't have game analytics uh, initially because in Battlefield, for example, they do a great job of game analytics. Like, I remember back in the day when you had Battle Log and you could see every single thing that you did in game, every kill you got or every single potential kill you could have gotten. Also, uh, they had, um, uh, what was it? Uh the, so the that's not what map. they've added to Hell Let Loose, though. The game analytics, what I think they originally were, is not specifically like stat tracking and right. heat it's map tracking. It's like the game code. code. And, right. Yeah, that sort of stuff. But but like, there's also, like, what, what I was leading into is, is the map tracking. So, like, one of the game analytics they had in Battlefield was the heat maps on maps. Yeah. So, like, when they built the maps, you could see where players would typically flow. And then, like, you know, they do the play test or the beta or whatever. And they're like, okay... This is where people walked a lot, but it seems that there's like choke points here that shouldn't be there, and they would kind of flex out the map a little more. I'm surprised that Hell Loose doesn't have that. I get it, where it's like, you know, supposed to be realistic uh, in a sense, but it could also help back, some of the dynamic stuff. Back when I interviewed Max a long time ago, uh, and I talked about game balance, uh, he mentioned that they did track like win rate for each faction. Uh, and stuff like that, and you know, across different maps, like not not a global thing, but across different maps. So there's definitely, they, I mean, they definitely had something, um, but I'm surprised that, you know, obviously they need way more. Uh, uh, there's probably like some sort of like industry standard or some guidelines of like how you're supposed to, you know measure the performance of your game to understand what changes you need to do and whatnot. I'm because honestly, like I've been thinking about the balance thing a lot. I'm starting to think that the allied are actually, you know, on the on the like less win rate side right now. Oh really? yeah. Especially once well, you get yeah. those big, those loadouts in the Germans, like once you start getting up there, yeah. 
I think than, when it comes it's a better side. Infantry yeah. to infantry, I think the, the Americans have the Germans beat, but I think where the Germans are far superior is their anti tank capability in every aspect. The yeah. the Panzer Shrek and the tanks are just far superior in every single way. So like I, I think I High level uh, German player versus a high level American player, like the German is way better. Because yeah, SDGs and Gewehrs across the board. SDG yeah, SDG is exactly. so good, though. The SDG yeah. is so good. And there's nothing really on the Allied side that is as good or nearly as good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, like if you're, if you're like level one insane. players, MP40 is <laughs> better. Yes, MP40 is better for sure. I don't know. I feel uh, like the top is gun, like a like, secret yeah. best gun in the game. Grease gun is insane. Man, I don't know what they did to the Grease gun a <laughs> couple of um, updates ago that they just messed it up. They they, they destroyed the the RNG headshot generator that it had, and and it's not as good as it used to. Oh, oh Mikey says the FG forty two sniper too. Yeah, the thing is just insane. Did a close range. You so could you could clear good. some stuff with that. So good, but um. Yeah, so I mean, how do they fix the guns in this game? Like, the do they need to have like different recoil patterns? Like, how do you fix gunplay in Hell It Loose? I don't know fix. How do you improve it? How do you improve gunplay in Hell It Loose? You I guys play a lot of infantry. One of the problems, I, I guess you could call it a problem, is that every weapon class. So we, if we take rifles as a, as in the M1 Garand bolt action rifles as a weapon class, your SMGs, your automatic rifles like SCG, BAR, FG42, each class has the exact same uh i'll say shots to kill at the same ranges yeah and that's and i'll say no re, the the recoil is different for them at least i i did test the fg42 and stg side by side and they were different but um i mean they could really try and drill down and make every single gun different in in its category you know why would the MP40 that uses what is it nine mil bullets? Yeah, like perform the same way uh, compared to the Thompson, which is uh, four five, is it? Yeah, four five caliber. It it wouldn't, I guess. And the uh, I don't know what bullet, what caliber the M1 Garand and Car 98 use, but they're different. Health. <laughs> they've gone like I they've think... done it in like a really easy way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think one thing that they you know they could do a lot better than it's been implemented uh, implemented is bullet penetration uh Absolutely. you know so that way if you have the mp40 for example you're not able to penetrate like a you know a building's wall or something or or a bunch of like planks of wood or whatever well if you have the thompson then maybe your suppressive fire can be a bit more penetrating right you know like you might spray someone and just kill him through the wall or something uh also the other factor I think is a lot of the bolt action rifles, like the Carn 88, is by far the 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 best one just because of the 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 sights. Uh, the Mosin Nagants, the different variants, they could have you know different bolt cycling speeds or you know different reload speeds or whatever to maybe like even the playing field or the 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 zoom factor when you ADS and and you hold breath, uh, stuff like that. Because I. Like I don't think the gunplay is bad. I think the gunplay is actually excellent. Yeah, uh, I agree. but I definitely would. I I mean I definitely think that for example, uh, maybe more than fixing the gunplays, the gunplay, it's more about fixing the loadouts. Sure. Because that's, that's what we're talking some about of the too. loadouts yeah. are so bad. Like there's no reason whatsoever unless you're german to use the assault the automatic rifleman in my mm -hmm. opinion like there's no reason i feel no like the reason. soviets too like the soviets like they just half assed some of the uh the loadouts like half the loadouts are ppsh i mean the ppsh is great but it's like yeah. there's going to be other weapons that they <laughs> use than like the ppsh and the the you know the fucking svt i don't the... think so i mean yeah, they did have honestly... some pps variants but they didn't really have a whole lot because um I think they were going to be putting some other weapons into production, but then with yeah. World War Two happened and other things messed up, they just went, you know, full steam yeah. into Mosins and PPs. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's just like the the PPSH was actually like fairly widespread uh, in in the Russian army, and I think like there's not a whole lot of variety if you want to stick to the weapons yeah. that were actually used. 
You know, like the Garand, the BAR, the Thompson, the Grease Gun, and, you know, like that's kind of it. It's the whole point uh, of like having a mass production of weapons to be able to equip your army in the first place. RDB says increase the Soviet side to 150 people for realism. I've just seen some. Yeah. When, great. And give when, half uh, of them no weapons yeah, at all. No, just, just shovels. <laughs> <laughs> like when the winter uh, when when the winter war comes, they could be getting uh, an automatic rifle because they did. Uh, like it's, it was classed as a battle rifle, the Federal Aftermath, twenty five round mag. Uh, I think it was in Call of Duty, weapon. wasn't it? I'm pretty sure. Like I remember playing Call of Duty and having like a ton of like Soviet weapons. Yeah, it's it's like a it's a pre World War Two weapon, but it didn't. Yeah, it only got only saw uh, oper operational usage in uh, Winter War. I think. Probably mm. a limited amount in World War Two itself, but that could be their version of the STG coming. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that'd be pretty cool. Just add some additional guns that, like the bazooka being added to the Soviets. I think that was a great idea. And like, yeah. I, I think Mono, I was with you, I think, and we were like, oh, that kind of is like a little silly. And we looked it up, we're like, oh shit, they actually like really did this, like pretty often. Yeah. Like it was. I, I think a lot of people don't actually know just how much equipment uh, the British specifically gave to the Soviets. Yeah. And you know, like they would take uh, some equipment coming from United States and add to that their own stuff and send that to the Soviets. Speaking of, dude, I really want to see the Piat when that comes. Oh. I want to see how it's implemented. <laughs> Yeah, because that's also. I mean, I think like they they kind of dropped the ball over the past few years in terms of what cool things to add to the game, um, because like the trench gun is fun, but it's kind of useless. The flamethrower flame is fun, yeah. but it's pretty yeah. useless. And you know the like the trench gun wasn't actually used in the war, like in any meaningful capacity. Um, and we could have had instead like the Panzerfaust, you know, for a different kit for like a different uh, assault, uh, or, or not assault, but anti tank variation. Like, you get one Panzerfaust that like is super fat, super good, but you only get one or something. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of things that you could do with that, and I think they didn't really think the loadouts through very much. I think, uh, and it's funny that you mentioned the Panzerfaust because someone mentioned, or yeah, Panzerfaust. Someone mentioned on Reddit. I should fresh this. They're like, yeah, the Panzerfaust should be added and should be one shot to any medium tank. I was like, get the fuck out of here. That's insane. I would be down for that. No, no, nope. that's stupid. Absolutely not. I would anyway. be down for that with it having a very limited effective range, no, like no, a, no, an insane no, drop, no, like no, no, no. Stop. you know. Um, nope. but uh, it's it's funny they mentioned that in the sense that um, like Black Matter. Although I think they did an amazing job. I think Black Matter, I mean, made a great game already. And I think you shit on Black Matter. <laughs> but I think I think that the 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 vibe I'm getting from Black Matter versus the vibe I'm getting from um Team 17 is really like Black Matter was just trying to keep the game together and like not break anything. Where Team 17's coming in and they're like, oh yeah, we can do anything. Like that's fine. Like we're gonna make the entire war. And I'm like, Yeah. Hold up. Like like what do you so that tells you that they have a massive team. But yeah. I don't know if maybe it's like that they're more experienced in Unreal Four that they can they can take the game and, and do something because I know again like I, I we've we've spoken to a lot of the devs like uh, as as war correspondents and it seemed that a lot of the stuff was more so like they don't want to touch too much because if they do just as like this Car ninety eight thing will you know like it'll break other things in the game so they're very like careful when they add something to the game to not break You know everything. what the solution is, you know, to all of that? Just port it to UE5, dude. That that will solve absolutely every single problem. Oh god, LOD fix would be amazing. I know. But UE5, if they're if they're planning on doing how long is the war? I mean, they're saying 1939 to 1945. They're, I don't think they're doing UE5 anytime soon. That will be hell is too. For yeah. sure. But if they if they if they are planning so. to do it though, like I mean, they literally said like verbatim, we want to do each year of the war starting with 1939. Yeah. If that's the case, and they go to 1945, you're looking at like what seven eight years of hell. Of six years. There six you years. go. Six. Uh, Twenty twenty eight. Right. Last one. Yeah. So, so like yeah, twenty twenty eight. Unreal one. five. 
Yeah, and... I mean, but can you do Unreal 5 if you're also doing that amount of content every single year and the, the job of porting it to UA5 just gets more and more difficult because you're you're I, adding more and more stuff to port? I don't think you, you know? port it. I think it's it's an engine change. So it's the same game. No. It just I that that I've talked uh, spoken to some devs uh that uh uh spoke to some devs that did uh postscriptum. That that's what they were mentioning. They were mentioning like it, you don't have to necessarily port anything. It's just changing the engine. It's a huge job yeah, to, to take um, care of, but there's a built-in tool or something mm -hmm. where you can actually well, maybe port is the wrong word but it upgrades all the code. Yeah, right. there's going to be a exactly. bunch of stuff you need to do to right. go in and tweak and fix things, but uh, that process and how Unreal Engine 5 develops, it's going to get a bit better as right. time goes on. So while they could be adding more and more to the game, um, it could that process could be getting better and simpler. So it's but beneficial because, to wait, then, is what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. But I, I think... They'll do Unreal Engine 5 in maybe two to three years because by that time, Hell Let Loose, its engine will be heavily outdated because there'll be loads of Unreal Engine 5 stuff everywhere. And people will be like, oh, look at, look at how amazing that looks. Look at the geometry in Resolve. Yeah, That's I mean, Resolve, that was like, holy crap, that looks so good. Resolve does look insane. Like, all, although like, the, the, the my playtest yeah. is rough, but yeah, I mean, the game yeah. looks good. So. I hope by that time, you know, it, it would be pretty updated. But I'm, I'm excited to see. I mean, like, the, again, the update that just came out, like, I, I think they're also yeah. bringing out uh, night maps, too. I mean, why would they, why would they have a night menu? I, I also, they the didn't, night menu, I don't I think was thinking about idea. that today, dude. They, they didn't mention night maps at all, you know? Uh, I, I think it'll be, if anything, because they're, they're very, I think they're minimal to change because it's just. Seems you know, like it. It's. It this should lighting. be like a lightning. Li lightning well, they did mention lightning passes to different really? levels. Really, a lot of changes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot it's more be... than just changing a couple of things. That I think there's a lot more that goes into just changing, um, because it's not a dynamic cycle. So there's probably a lot of um, built-in uh, like hard lighting into the maps, and yeah. there's yeah. a bunch of other things they probably have to tweak. But yeah, I, I think probably. They're but it, it, it shouldn't yeah. be a massive like it's not remaking the entire right. map, you know. It's, it's like just yeah, so that's yeah. why I think they would like there's a lot of quality assurance that needs to happen when yeah, you do that though. Right. Like, but like why else would they put a night menu in the map or in the game? Can we like, talk about the menu? Because the menu kind of sucks, dude. Agreed. I don't like the visuals at all. I don't think it it's looks good to have a bad. How no, it's really it dark. bad. <laughs> well, Mono and I, I mean, the, the, the console. Pre... The console looks terrible. That Does new. It? Oh, so like, th there's a new wallpaper that that they use, and like, what happens is it starts in the middle and it zooms all the way out. It's not on PC. It's only on console. Yeah. But the fucking like the 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 picture they use, they didn't upscale like the image, so you can see all the polygons or like all the squares and pixels as it zooms out. Like it looks cool when it's zoomed out, but how they did it does not work well, I think. So, but why would you put a night thing if you're not doing night maps? I just don't understand. What do you, I mean, what do you guys think? Like, do you think they're going to bring out night maps? I reckon seems, so. Yeah, it's it seems just, like, it seems like a no brainer to me. Yeah. yeah. Seems like an it's easy way to like map. duplicate the number of maps you, that you have, right? Like well, one of these mention... smaller updates they're coming out with, if they just throw tack it onto there, I mean that'd be an easy yeah. way to get player base back in. They, they did mention dynamic weather as well as one of the things that they would be bringing. Uh, the way it is now is like they're f fully separate maps, so it would be interesting to have like resolve. Actually, I will say resolve did that day night cycle, and it was actually cool. A night they need to work on the night because I like the night better in Hell Loose than it was in Resolve. But like, uh, like resolve is pitch black. Like you, you couldn't see anything. But um, it would it would be interesting to see like a day night cycle or like a like a storm or something like that. Like levolution. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, <laughs> yeah, that would be. That'd I don't cool. think you can do that because the the uh, the levels don't have dynamic lighting. It's just baked lighting, right? No, they they do now. Uh, they they do now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have dynamic lighting. Which one? Well, uh. Well, I guess I mean, like the not, shadows don't change position or anything. global illumination, like like with the sky, but with guns. Remember, that's one of the updates when you shoot. That, yeah, that's, 
I mean, that's yeah, but you're not nation. changing like the the, 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 the like the, 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 the lighting sun, is the, baked. The shadows yeah, are baked. You know, it's fair. you're you're not changing that real time, and that would change. That would require a whole lot of work. Um, but Mikey said also, uh, someone some someone mentioned on the chat that the devs said I don't know when they said this, but the the devs said that the network code is completely different, which wouldn't allow them to just port it to Unreal Engine five. So yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Um, Mikey said he doesn't like night maps. I'll tell you what, like, I think Cursed Night is better than Cursed Day. Oh, yes. 100%. Yeah. It's better than Foy Day. Yeah, yeah, Foy Night. I'll, so, I'll like, I disagree. I, yeah, I disagree with that night maps. Now, yeah. like, Purple Heart Lane Night, I don't think Purple Heart Lane Night is pointless. Plays. No, yeah. it, I don't it's think that's the same. That, that it's the same map. Well. Um, Dude, Perkin, they should have they should like have Perkin. added uh, that mist that you get in Cursed Night to Purple Heart Lane Night. That would have made it a much, much better map. Yeah, I just feel like Purple Heart Lane is already like night. <laughs> you know, it's like already yeah, really, yeah. really dark. Yeah. So I don't know if that was like, like they should have changed the lighting entirely. Maybe done like done day Purple Heart Lane. Like I don't know, like an actual daylight because it it seems like it's what like super early morning. Like sun hasn't even come up yet. Um, uh, somebody's asking here on chat if you guys think we need a full urban map like Carantan. And Berlin. I'm pretty sure the answer. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Carrington's the best map. Uh, I mean, hands yeah. down, I think yeah. everyone agrees with Carrington being the best map. I think it's between Carrington and SME for sure. Like, SME's I, really I, good. I really yeah. like those two maps. I was saying, I don't like SMDM. I, I've been tell, telling everyone, I know Fresh and I keep arguing about it. Crazy. I, I am not a fan of SMDM. And I'll tell you I why. Like SMDM. I like Carrington. I like Kharkov. I like uh, SME. And the reason why I like all those maps is because no matter where the middle point is on SMDM, you play SMDM the same. You always go to the center of the map. Karantan, Karkov, SME, uh, among others. Every time the, the point in the middle is different, you approach it completely different. There's full different lanes. And every other point as well, there's full different lanes that you use to approach. Like, I mean, Karkov, for example, just off the top of my head, you have the church in the middle. Church plays completely different than distillery. Distillery plays completely different than uh, whatever's on the far, far side, that, that open, open area, you know, with the windmill. Like, but SMDM, no matter where you play it, whether it's the road on the far side or the middle or the far left, you always go to the hill in the center every time. Every I time just, you play um, it. I just like how balanced I, SMDM is. Yeah, minus same, minus like the same Marie hard point on offensive, but... I just like I, I agree. Hill 400 absolutely nightmare. My Hill 400 is the worst map next to Remagen, in my opinion. I hate Hill 400, and I will never like it. I, and I disagree think it plays completely shit. about this. Yeah, I hate I Hill 400. Highly disagree. I don't like sitting there and just like. I think Hill 400 for is underrated. I feel like Hill 400 is rated exactly where it should be as <laughs> shit because it's shit. <laughs> I think Kursk Day is more shit than Hill 400 is by Hot, I, was, you, I was on your side until you said that. <laughs> <laughs> you lost I know you, but you guys okay so we have like the infantry perspective on the left side of the screen and the the tankers perspective on I, the I right like side. infantry on, on um uh kursk i like the trenches yeah i so, can enjoy the trenches but it like kursk is one of those maps that if one team is dominating with the tanks there is fuck all you can do as infantry like there, there's really nothing you can do while in other maps, like for example SMDM, you can actually fight the tanks as infantry. I think you know? SME is like. I agree that with too. that. Yeah. Uh, yeah as SME a pure well. infantry player, I think Hill 400 is shit. Well, I, maybe that's maybe I'm being too harsh on it, but I, personally, no, I really, exactly right. really struggle with it. Yeah. It's, I don't think it's, it's too fun much at all. trees, it's too much stuff. Yeah. Or favors oh, laying down in a like bush. It. Correct. Or favors just like, laying yeah, down in a bush. I don't think anyone <laughs> right. likes laying down in a bush. But it's just boring. Also, also, uh, Kharkov is shit. Man, fuck you. Oh. No, no, I you are out of here. No, no, are, no. I have never had a good game on Kharkov. Dude, I've had oh, come on. infantry and armor. I've had great games in Kharkov. Dude, that church no. on Kharkov is one of the best points in the whole game. I'll, I'll I think you that. were at a, a down point in your life when Kharkov was crazy. released. <laughs> and you it. haven't or recovered from that. everyone's hate right now. Um, also, okay, so <laughs> Hill 400, PHL, Kursk, and uh, Foy. Like, what do you guys? Is Foy a good map? We're not even gonna talk about yeah. Omaha Foy, Warfare. Omaha Warfare needs to be included in the hate trade because I don't like Omaha Warfare. 
I do. I really like Omaha Warfare. Warfare. It's, it's so sucks. unbalanced. Apart it's so the... unbalanced. Omaha Warfare it's plays good. great in the middle, but once you get yes. to, once the Americans lose the middle point, it's it's over. It's yeah. over every time. No. No, I wouldn't. I've won completely one time agree. It's on just Omaha, mainly when when they get pushed back to their last point, it's yeah, you're just screwed because you're on the beach. You you know so you're gonna struggle to get off it. Yeah, and that that's exactly like I think the map is good. Like I love uh, Omaha. Like I think I think the the map plays differently no matter where you're at. But the problem is exactly what, what Terry mentioned. Like that that hillside. You're screwed. If you get back to that point, like there's only so many places you can put garrisons, and it gets to the point where like you can't get tanks out. Like if if you get to the second point, a tank can move up and just kill everyone off the beach and then just close into your your spot. It's so, so tough. But yeah. um Huss says Omaha US offensive is peak HLL. He had a video, so I'll give you the little background. Uh, Husk wanted to do a video of, of uh, Omaha Beach. He's like, I guarantee it's a hundred thousand uh, view video. And I was like, dude, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> we played it, it was actually a good time, and he did get a hundred thousand views. So I'll listen to Husk nice. more often now. But you're, you're all the dice on that one when you do it, that it one, though. Really yeah, is. yeah, you can yeah. get really good matches, or it yeah. can be over in 20 minutes and it can be mm -hmm. the absolute worst. Once you're off the beach. It's great. There's so many dynamic oh, man. places. Once, yeah, dude. Once it, once really? you're yeah. off the beach, it's one of the great. best maps in the game. Yeah, yeah. Like like orchards is so fun to fight over. Um, there's a bunch uh, of the really town, fun. dude. Uh, mm -hmm. Beerville. Like yeah. the middle of the town is so yeah. much fun. I agree. Also, uh, what you're talking about SMDM, I think they missed an opportunity at not having the church be the middle point, yeah, which I... might have not been historically accurate or something. But I feel like the church area gets played basically never. Yeah. And it's yeah. the best part in the entire map. Like See, like, I love parts of SMDM. I think the church is awesome to fight through. It's, it's fantastic. But every time I'm fighting in the church, I'm usually on defense. And I'm usually getting my ass handed to me trying to have a struggle of, like, holding one of our You're last good, points. Son. <laughs> I know. But I like, think there's an easy reason as to why you don't put it as the center. Omaha sent a map as a church. SME yeah. sent a map it's a church. Kharkov. And uh yeah, Kharkov <laughs> as well as a church. You know, you gotta, gotta change it. Up. it. Yeah. I get it. I just wish like maybe it was more centralized in the middle or like the like off skirts of the the center point, you know what I'm saying? Like one of the the right or left points. Um but Utah's a great map too. I really like Utah. Oh, that's got church in the middle as well, yeah. I miss old <laughs> SMDM so much. Like that, that the mansion area on old SMDM was one of the best parts of any map in the game. Yeah. Uh, you guys remember re, re, uh, mm -hmm. ah, remember the top western part where yeah. the, where the big house it. was? Like yeah. that was so good. I'm surprised they just didn't fill that map in more, and the, instead of like shifting it over and rebranding it, I thought they could have just filled it in more and honestly made it in the yeah. team map. I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I mean, uh, I put a vote in chat, uh, by the way, if you guys want uh, to put your favorite map. Well, people are putting Hill 400 as their favorite map. I think you guys are just doing it as a meme at this point. This is a meme. <laughs> this is nonsense. Karatan's easily the best map in the game. Easily. Yeah. Um, well, Karatan's yeah. like Kharkov, where you get different experiences. You, whatever it's, whatever um, you're going for. You can go through the middle, through the town. You go through the top with the rivers. You go through the bottom with Mont. Yeah. Kind of plays differently I everywhere. I don't know what makes Karantan such a steamrolly map, though. I think Kharkov is a steamrolly map, too. Because people don't like to hit escape, redeploy, and they want to yeah. run back, and it's hard to do that on Karantan. Yeah. Yeah. Boy is also a really good map. I mean, well, what is your favorite? I mean, everyone's favorite map here is Karantan? I think so, right? Yeah, I think it's the pretty best much. map. Yeah. I, but Foy Knight's probably my favorite map. Foy Knight is very fun. Boy I, is very I fun. honestly think Kursk Knight is up there dude i think as one of the best maps in the game i would agree i think cursed knight is so looked over because everyone's like man fuck kursk and then uh, no, fresh yeah. did it perfectly though like it's funny because once kursk was out of the game people were like oh man i miss kursk and so it's like it's it what something. you got till it's gone yeah it says something that people are thinking about kursk when it's not in the game you know like that's I that's think that hill 400 fuck it i never play hill 400 it's terrible mm -hmm. that's i think the the um like one of the syndromes that people have when uh you know you 
like we all know the the this is gonna empty the server maps you know uh like foy can do that uh phl definitely remagen is like uninstall game uh so but those maps like i miss playing remagen like i wouldn't play remagen every single day Oh, uh, we lost. I'm muted. Like once oh, every go. now and then, you know, have a Remagen offensive just to see the map and have a different experience. <laughs> so, I think that's <laughs> that's Remagen what we do. Offensive, yeah, Remagen offensive German offensive is is yes. actually not that bad because you both. That's the only the way you can side. play that. You can't yeah. you can't do that with the US offensive. Mm. That'd be fucking terrible. No, Carrington won by the way, forty one percent close. as Hill four hundred just for the nobody voted bullshit. for us. <laughs> yeah, this is, I, this, this this is such a good rigged. map. It's rigged. Um, but uh. I, Remagen, I Maybe, think. Oh, sorry, I, sorry, I think everyone that voted Carrington would lost them again. You're disconnected, Mono. Oh, me? What, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what'd you say? It might that everyone me. that um, got that that everyone that nobody voted for SME because all the people that love SME like Carrington better. Yeah, that, that's Probably. fair. That's fair. Um, but uh, let's talk a little bit more about like what we kind of want because we were talking about how Remagen. Is is fun to play at, from time to time, but I think what we need is more like admin abilities to pick the points. I know so many people hate West Bend at Foy. So many. It's like one of them yeah, not the it's hardest. Too unbalanced. Yeah, and and uh, I think that's the same with Ray Mogan, but it's the entire map, unfortunately. Uh, so like that I would, would love the best feature, dude, for them to go ahead and just be able to pick whichever spot you want, or like okay, already toggle on or off, off. Boom. Oh my god, be amazing! Why is that? Why is that not a thing? What do you guys think? I don't. I don't but know. we have flamethrowers, guys. <laughs> it's cool. We got new helmets. <laughs> oh, <God>. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. The helmets. Man, that would be cool, the though. best feature ever, dude. Being able to pick the maps, or at least being able to say like, okay, you you do your random thing, right, and and pick the the things, but don't give me a straight line for the love of God, you know, uh, like don't give me edge of the map straight line on any map ever. You guys would appreciate uh, this. You want to know what the first thing I would do is? No heavy tanks, only mediums. Oh, yeah, that would be actually very cool. Medium tank be fights are the best cool. in the game. Yeah. yeah, dude, if they actually had uh, light tanks in the game that are not like the you know the Luke's and the Stuart, like some actual like Panzer three style heavy. I don't know what's going on with Mike, Mono, but it keeps it keeps going silent. Yeah, yeah, you're good now. Wow, weird. You were saying something, um, and then. You- you, you, when you got to the point, it just <laughs> cut out. <laughs> That's strange, dude. Because it's it's not even like the Nvidia thingy. It's all right. Let me let me change to the Nvidia thing. Oh my Maybe god, Husk, Husk says his dream is open mic only. <laughs> it's easy. Like just that. go to console. Like That's, all That's all it is. That's all it is. Oh man, no, open mic only would be. Is this better, by the way? Yeah, it sounds good. It yeah. just keep. It kept cutting out. But open mic with the enemy team. Oh, that would God. be funny. That That's would be an admin funny. nightmare, dude. Yeah, I would, I would, I would <laughs> yeah. not want to be a part of that. Also, what's an oh, alpine sniper? <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Oh God, alpine Doesn't sniper. Does Rights have that? Yeah, real quickly. Yeah, uh, Tarkov That's... has it too, right? Call of Duty. Oh yeah, Tarkov has, has it too. It. Yeah. Oh my God. Also, you know what? What uh, map I would like to see knight first? Stalingrad. Stalingrad. Stalingrad, no, Stalingrad. <laughs> Both at the same time. Yeah, I think Stalingrad Night. Could I mean, be Stalingrad has has to fix so much. I haven't played it since this update, but I'm assuming the LODs are still fucking terrible on it. Yeah, that, that, it makes it unplayable for me. I, mean, I know I'm, there's I'm like, this one spot that the Russian tanks can get to. That's right behind some. Um... It's the whole wall by the yeah, rail doesn't that render in if yeah, you're up on the hills. So of bad. So yeah, the bad. whole wall from top to bottom of the map does not render in, and I cannot live with yeah. that. Makes me it's, angry just thinking about it. It's rough, dude. It's rough. But, yeah, man, I, I would love some more admin abilities to where we could, like... I mean, even, like, a spectator cam. Like, the admin cam is great, but, like, uh, Squad does a really good admin cam where it's, like, smooth. Dude, the I admin think... cam in Hell is pretty janky. Yeah, no, that's what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying. It's, like, it's yeah. like definitely... It's definitely an after that. I think like an admin cam because I know there's a huge competitive scene. I would love to see like a smoother cam for for competitive use. Uh, also for like us when we do you know our admin cam views, so people can see everything like a little less janky. Um, I would love I, to I see. I feel like the the dude the 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 speed 
every single time I'm using the admin cam, I think about those escort missions in like third person action games where your walking speed and your running speed is slightly too slow oh. and slightly too yeah. fast. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It is <laughs> never matches the, the guy you're escorting. So it's a pain in the ass. And that's the hella loose admin cam, dude. It is either yep. painfully slow or yeah. you're too fast. Yep. Like, there's no middle point. I, I don't know if you guys have ever watched Moy Dog's uh, Eye in the Sky, but like I'm telling you, the admin cam of Squad is great. And same, same as uh, uh, Postscriptum, too. It's super smooth. Super, super, super smooth. Um, so I would like maybe some more of that. Again, more admin abilities. Um, like, I'm glad they added the, uh, oh, God. Terry and Alpiner hydrating me to death. Um, I would love some more admin uh, abilities. Like like the uh, sending message to a player was awesome. I don't know if you can send a player to a uh, message to every player. That'd be great. Jesus Christ, you guys are insane. Vote map. We're gonna drown. Actually, in. not even vote map. Exclamation point. <laughs> on next console. Map, please. On console. Yeah. Why do you not have that vote map on console? Sounds like console match made service. Flamethrowers. I'm out of water, people. Relax. Relax. Now, now you just have to pee in it. And <laughs> yeah. full circle, man. Okay, okay. How many points? <laughs> Name uh, your price. <laughs> but yeah, so 500,000 channel points. Oh, my God. So let's move on to uh, the roadmap as well as, like, you know, the, the future. So April, we already had April, right? So April uh, went ahead and hit. That's the that's update that just came out. So June. What has happened in June? So we got... Uh, general bug fixing, more free DLC, which we just got, right? Uh, we're getting quality of life improvements, which we don't know what those are. Gameplay analytics, so it's more gameplay analytics going in. Map refresh. I like that they're doing that. And I, again, I hope that the map or the game analytics help with that. In uh, in essence, like telling us where people are going, what, what place we could potentially move around. That's cool. Um... Improved player locomotion, nonverbal communication, updated in-game uh, player reporting tools, which is great, uh, British forces, and the website. So obviously, the biggest thing is the British forces. So what do you guys think is they're going to bring in with the British forces? I think our resident Brit here should probably start us off. <laughs> um, so originally, yeah, if you go down this idea of each year is a year in World War II, then no British maps would come because they didn't do anything in 1939. <laughs> but um, I think you've got to look at ideally two different theatres of war. Um, I think you've got to bring in maybe one big well-known map and then maybe something else. So I would say Dunkirk should be a big one. But Dunkirk wasn't like a, was it like a battle battle? I mean, yeah, I mean, there was battles like around Dunkirk and then mm -hmm. the Germans were pushing into Dunkirk as well. You would, it could be a similar setup to uh, sort of Omaha, really, where the British would have their HQ on the beach. And, well, yeah, just the other HQs elsewhere. It's a big, important battle, really. Yeah, I, mean, I think I Ar think Arnhem would be cool. Dunkirk, like, yeah. we're, all, we're all craving something Which like Carantan. I think Arnhem would be a good one to I do think with that. that would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, or man, should they hold back so that till uh, the actual year when Market Garden happened? Well, for sure, really could. be a, a Market few Garden years down the line, dude. That'd be so personally. Market I hope they just would have to be a big, a big update, which would be yeah. with in its actual year. Dude. I'm hoping yeah. they just fuck with everybody and release North Africa, and then it's like surprise. I would actually be super good with North. Like, I think that's actually what they're gonna do. Like, I uh, hope so, but I don't know. like, if you, if you go like Dunkirk. I mean, imagine seeing tigers and panthers on on Dunkirk. It would be the worst uh, because it would be so out of place. Because you yeah, know, like that, the French all, that scenarios and whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, but, but it happens in, in. Yes, but it's a bit lesser known. I think, like if you if you put you know, I, I don't know, and and I wonder what they're gonna do with the Polish and. Uh, when they add those, like if if that's gonna have vehicles, like are we gonna see the Polish, like tanks of like well, tier mean. one tanks versus the tier ten tigers? You know, yes, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I actually, um, you know, what would be cool is like if they did add, like if they're going to the nineteen thirty nine up to you know uh, the the end of the war, like if they did have 
in those battles, the old like Panzer threes and stuff like that. That would be cool. Like, so they just, instead of innovating or instead of like, like basically reworking the entire German army, they just innovate and just add more vehicles for the Germans, like each time, or like, you know, I, well, the Finns and stuff like that. I do like what Mono's talking about because it's a good point. Because eventually, you know, it's like we all want more tank shit. Eventually, they're going to be forced in the reworking tanks with all these introductions, yeah. these new factions to, to do something here, whether it be with the Polish, whether it be with the Japanese or something. <laughs> they're going to have to rework something to balance it. So it's like yeah. kind of cool thinking about that is like, you know, they're going to be forced into doing something eventually. Otherwise, I'm, it's going to be stupid. I'm yeah. not super, uh, well, I, I mean, I am excited about the British, but the fact that they talked about the Sherman Firefly I know. as My favorite fucking the tank. tank for the British. It's so a cheap excited. route. It's a cheap route. No, man. Give me a that. Churchill. Give me yeah. a Crusader. Give me a Matilda. Well, give me, like, give me an actual British tank, not well, a, you know, American conversion kit. What I'm thinking is, like, they just do the same thing as, like, the Panther and the Tiger. No. I mean, why couldn't they do that? Like a Churchill and, and, a, and a Firefly. The Firefly was specifically designed as like a tire killer, you know? Like like I said, they're going to be forced into doing something, and I have a feeling tank yeah. destroyers around the corner. Yeah. Uh, like I know the Panther's not a tank destroyer, but it'd be easy reclassification of it to balance it out. Like uh, medium armor, heavy gun or something? Yeah. The, the, yeah. the, the Churchill high risk, would be basically... High risk, high reward. Yeah, yeah. the Churchill... Churchill, or sorry, the not Churchill, the uh, Firefly, I imagine, would work just like the uh, Panther, in a sense. That's that's what I imagine. The Jag Panther? Jesus Christ. This is the Churchill to... would be the, uh, sorry, come the, again? The Firefly. Firefly. It'd basically be like the, the Panther. Like, yeah, yeah. That, and you have that the Churchill and the Tiger, kind of like the big boys. Correct. Yeah, that's what I would imagine. Yeah. Um, uh, the, yeah, the, the thing I want to see the most out of the, the British and, and, you know, Polish and whatever are the early war stuff. Like, is the, the early war stuff. I think, like, seeing Panzer 3s would be awesome. Uh, Panzer 1s, you know, those, like, little shitty tankettes with <laughs> no actual cannons <laughs> and just, like, the 20 millimeter guns and whatever. Like, that would be awesome. Uh, and, 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 I, said and the Jag Tiger takes one hour to move across the map. That'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> dude the the um, uh i think you know you you mentioned being able to pick the strong points as one of the best yeah. features that could come into the game like that would be amazing i think the feature like my most requested feature outside of a tutorial would be um to have map specific vehicles uh like that's what i'm saying yeah don't give me a tiger cool. and a mm -hmm. panther in every single map you know, have the commander abilities be specific for each map so that you can have a different, an or actual make that different an admin thing. Like, that's a toggle that you can just be, like, custom or realistic. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, what so if um, you can make a, I don't know, let's just call it a map profile in your admin tool. Yeah. So you could do Stalingrad. You could name it as your historic version and, and tick off exactly. what sort of weapons and vehicles you want to appear in but your everything work. They didn't have a fucking yeah, tiger whatever. or panther at Omaha Beach. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So like once they add more stuff, like I would love if you could have realistic or whatever or you know custom and you could just put the realistic ones in there. Like that'd be awesome. I, I think how postscript think... did it was they I think they literally had different factions. Yeah. For yeah. each yeah. Map, I mean much. there's massive like, yeah, the real that, like, that was no. there. Yeah, like they do that would um... actually be an issue solution. Like just give me different German armies you know and and oh, just have cool. them be different i feel like they kind of suggested that in the roadmap reveal i can't remember the exact words that one dude said but he was sitting he there going like, like we want to we want to dive deeper into like you know it's not just germany it's like specific who's there factions in that yeah. battle yeah. yeah yeah it kind of felt like they were going that way yeah i don't know man keep in mind guys though that every thing every time you say like oh this should be an admin feature then that would exclude console pretty much and that would kind of suck. Yeah. Well, not necessarily. Unless, like, I mean, a bunch they of could work. have some matchmaking options set up, so they could have like a historic matchmaking. Yeah, exactly. I, I would love exactly. to see a featured playlist on console saying like, yeah. I mean, they, didn't Battlefield do? I mean, they just need a server. They all they need on there is a fucking server browser. But, but like, I will like, say, they, it, they just got yes. a thrush in there. It sounds they really, like they're doing need. everything they can to go around that though. 
like uh, yeah. they they were just like, well, we're looking at other options aside from a server browser. I'm like, why? It's probably there's not why? a few playing it. I don't know. Man. I honestly, I think because uh, yeah, a server browser requires you to fill servers, and then you don't have any matchmaking, and then people find you know log into the server browser, they see like three servers that are full, and all every single other server is empty, yeah. and there's no really good solution to that. I, I I don't know why no game company has ever done the I would join the server if other people would and just have a, like a counter, you know, like ticking like, oh, there's like 55 people that would actually join the server and they're just looking at the server browser right now. There's uh, just some so feature times, like that. Though. But with matchmaking, like if the focus is matchmaking, that's the antithesis of a server browser, you know? Yeah. yeah. There's just so many times, though, that you go onto console. I mean, again, Mono and I have played plenty of times. And, like, you just join a game that's, like, 20 people. And it's, like, you go out, you come back, and you're, like, back in the 20 people. And you're, like, God damn it. How can I, like, get out? Yeah. Like, if there's a server browser, it should just be, like, you said fresh. Like, exactly like, like Battlefield. Like, have a server browser option. And then you can see the full games. Or you can do the custom ones. That's it. It's like I, I think I the way I would solve it would honestly be with, like, a featured playlist. Like, oh, this week you get the Soviet maps back to back. Oh, this That'd other week too. you get, you know, tank maps like Foy, PHL, Kursk, whatever, like back to back. And just specific playlists for specific rotations on the servers. Yeah, because Terry, you mentioned that too. Like, I think when, when the, uh, the Soviets came in, and you're like, yeah, the Soviets are here, but you can't play them, so good luck. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah, loads of people were reporting <laughs> yeah. that they just couldn't play the maps. Yeah. They were never getting them. It's like, well, what logic does that make? I would love I had to a see guy that comment. option. I had a guy comment, I think it was today or yesterday. He never played, uh, right? Saying, uh, when the Soviets came out, I played for a month on console and never Jesus. got a Soviet map. That's terrible. like imagine that, dude. Imagine going to the game that you want to play, and you want to play the new content. That's why you're jumping into the game, and you don't get to play the new content. And all oh you have to play God. is offensive Hill 400 Americans, and then offensive Hill 400 uh, Germans, and then Warfare Hill 400, yeah. and then Hurricane offensive. <laughs> That's the rotation. That's the rotation on console. Console needs love, and I hope that. Like by playing more console, we can bring some more attention because I think it's such a good opportunity for Hello Loose to bring more people into the, such a different kind of game. But man, it is rough. Uh, let's check out. Uh, so some people had questions on like, um, what is the map? Um, or like, sorry, what's the map? Uh, refresh. Does someone want to kind of give a little info on like what the map refresh? Would, I mean, what be? they said in the reveal was it's like lighty and atmospheric changes. But yeah, mm-hmm. that's all I said. So that could actually best, be um, very, very cool. Yeah. Best thing to think of is uh, if you compare original Utah to what it is now, mm-hmm. um, specifically even the top middle point, completely different. Yeah. That was a map. That's part of the map refresh, and I think that's what they'll be doing in some of the other maps. And maybe the night maps would come in as part of this map refresh as well. That'd yeah. Be cool. Agreed. Um, new maybe. website. I know people are kind of upset at this. I don't know why people are upset with this. I mean, it's just like website makes people sense. like being upset yeah. about they want like more transparency but not like that yeah what are and you working on premium <laughs> dlc merch store so again monetizing it so july got uh, another month here general bug fixing gameplay analytics new tutorial system so mono is super happy new game mode objective uh 101st airborne dlc in-game store and premium dlc so let's go ahead and talk about the tutorial system so what are some things mono Terry, you guys are the tutorial kings. What are some things that are like needs, like they need to have in this tutorial? Um, uh, they they absolutely a hundred percent need to emphasize that, as I mentioned in in the new beginners guide, like this is a game about spawn points. That is the entire driving force of everything that happens in the entire game is the spawn points. Uh, and you know you can do a tutorial and teach people how to shoot the guns and how to use the tanks and how to you know bipod the browning and build the a defensive structures and the, none of that would be useful at at all because if you don't teach the players where to expect the enemy to be, that's like the number one thing people str- struggle with in the game. It's like 
oh, I keep running everywhere and I get shot from nowhere. Those two things are spawn points. Like the answer to fixing those two issues is you understanding spawn points. Because once you understand spawn points, you don't have to run anymore. And once and also that will give you an understanding of where to expect the enemy to be shooting you from, you know? And once you get shot from that, you'll be like, oh, you know, they must have a spawn point on whatever area. Let's go find that, you know, and this is how we're going to go. Um, if they don't do that, like, I would be so disappointed because, I mean, the, the, the opportunity for them to make a good tutorial that doesn't actually teach you about the game is definitely up there. Yeah. Very yeah, if it's, it's, if it's just, uh... like, like, focus on, like, only, like, focuses too much on, like, roles, like, it's all, like, you should be attacking. It's like, no. Don't do that. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They need to emphasize our map control as well. I mean, yeah, yeah spawn points come into that definitely. Um, yeah, a lot of people still don't. I mean, I, I I say a lot of people don't defend correctly. You know, where they sit in the strong point, and that's yeah. it. You gotta you know defend the four squares. Look at look look for their spawn points, and you know. I don't think they need that's to go like... too deep into the roles. Just sort of say this role can do this. Maybe put a little bit more emphasis on the support with their supplies and what that can lead to in terms of building spawn points and the engineers with the nodes because of what the nodes let the commanders do. Do you think they should have like a uh, shooting or a firing range as part of the tutorial, like a separate area? Yeah, yeah why not? Yeah. Just, a lot of people ask for... how simple uh, would that a lot be of... to put in, you know? <laughs> Just put it in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of people want that, but I think it's pretty pointless. Like, what for? You know, like, yes, so you can try out the guns. Dude, I was playing last night, and I shot a, uh, a Panzer Shrek at the front of a, a tank, and they're like, what in the world? How is that possible? And I was like, this is why we need a firing range. <laughs> so, like, you yeah, can spawn yeah, different that, armor. Yeah. You can just practice shooting and, like, get a feel, try each gun. Because, like, the STG feels way different than the BAR. I mean... It's pretty straightforward, yeah, but like you could test different things really quick, like in a little yeah area. But... Dude, yeah, I, I would say like ninety percent of the player base do not know that you can Panzer Shrek a medium tank on the no, front. Absolutely not. Like, I mean the game puts on itself because you never see them outside the first fucking five minutes usually. Like map control, yeah. again, such a huge thing and people just do not understand. Like the amount like I today, actually, uh someone was like uh talking about stream sniping, and they're like, Oh, People like you ruin the game. And I was like, okay, let me put it to you this way. I can tell you exactly where this garrison is. I was like, I pulled up the map and I was like, this next garrison that they have is going to be right here. I'm not stream sniping. I'm not doing anything. I'm just calling it out right now. Like five minutes later, we walk into this area. It's like five feet away from where I pinged. I was like, and there you go. And that's how you play the game because there's hundreds of people come from this one spot there's a red zone area right there. The point is right there. It's just like context clues. It's obvious, but people like think it's like such a secret area. They're, yeah. Oh, like <laughs> this is so so hidden. There's no way they would find it. No, there are people running from that. Like I, I, I just follow the train. I always wonder what people think when we shoot garrisons and from t uh, while you're in a tank, you shoot a garrison oh. from like 800 meters away yeah. and it just disappears off the map. I will. I'm always wondering what people are thinking about that. Exactly. Exactly. So, like, I, I don't know, man. It's just, like, the game is, is pretty easy, but it doesn't teach you. So, I think this tutorial system is something that is much needed, and I'm glad that Team 17 is really prioritizing that as one of their first updates. You know, I mean, yeah, it's coming out in July, but, I mean, it, hopefully, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna hold my breath, but I'm, I'm hoping it's, like, very straightforward, like, basic stuff rather than just, like, the, this is how you play, one pager. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah. Um, um game mode. oh sorry go ahead yeah no i was gonna say dude uh thinking about the tutorial stuff and and all that they need to change offensive mode so it's also cap the four squares and not the strong point because i think that breaks offensive mode in, in many situations People like it doesn't make it as interesting offensive. like it should play they it should have it. the same it's simple well that's all that's because they are forced to playing it but uh <laughs> Yeah, Stop. Stop. Uh, Stop. but if, <laughs> if, if offensive mode Bad. had the same rules as warfare in terms of you can go two squares into the red zone and, you know, 
all of that, I think it would be a way more interesting game mode than it is. Yeah, I'd want to try it. I just hate offensive, honestly. Like, I have some good I would, games, I, but like most of the time, I feel like it's pretty unbalanced. It needs objectives, that's why. Not just go stand in the circle and then you win. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Smoggles. Yeah. That's, uh, that's sorry. Right. It's not a. It's not about map control. That's the problem. Offensive yeah. mode is not a map map right. control. It's yeah. about just rushing the objective, and I think that's like that's why I would like to see it have the same rules as Warfare. Just have the same rules, but you know, in the offensive order. Like that's it. Um, sorry, I was saying Smoggles had the same idea as Fresh, uh, like a seeding game mode. That'd be cool. They oh get, yeah, get uh, it's toggle. like that. Need, I'm amazed that's not a thing. Uh, Postscriptum had it. It's like, why the fuck are we here? Yeah, and we don't have it. It makes life so much have. easier if it's just one point, and then all once you get forty, it loads in a new map. Yeah, I feel like Black Fresh, was just very careful about not adding too much to break the game. Yeah, but Fresh, we have flamethrowers for the support. Get new helmets. <laughs> yes, <laughs> damage helmets. <laughs> um, but yeah, what do you think this new game mode is? Like, I just don't know what this this game mode specifically is. The the uh, objective game mode. Probably like well, you can when destroy. they announced it, yeah, pretty much. When they announced it, it's um, their the first map's going to be that recreation of Banner Brothers Episode Two, where they go down the trench line and destroy the guns. The objective is to yeah. blow stuff up. That'll be pretty sweet. I mean, that would fine. seem like the way it should be. I wonder how many players it's going to be though. It's not going to be fifty v fifty. Oh, it'll be no. eighteen versus eighteen for sure. I bet. Yeah, I, I yeah. bet you anything. It'll be eighteen versus eighteen. And go. This is like my main gripe. About it. How the fuck does that work with servers? Like, you can't put that on a normal server and just kick out. Yeah, you'd have to <laughs> have that. other servers Ooh. dedicated to that. So it's like, do you have to get a whole new server and then people have to start admin Correct. two servers? To how do you seed that? Like, it's gonna be nuts. Did That's they say actually a really interesting point. Skirmish was gonna be. I, I, I swear, I they said it would be smaller somewhere. Well, thirty-five yeah, but... wouldn't make sense. My fear. Is that they go away with community servers on PC? That's no. what I'm worried about. Why do you no, think they would do no, that? They That's impossible. That, no, they can't. Do they, they do that. They do that. They much. lose the entire game. Like yeah, they lose the I entire agree. game. Like it's just, they, it's just uh, in the like, back of my head because that's the only way this works. Unless it's like you have to run a whole new server to run this game or run this game mode. Uh, Alpine says, "I wonder if the ability of being." Uh, of already being destroyed will carry over from the small game mode to the regular matches. So I will say, I, I may have said it a little earlier, I was talking to some of the devs and they did give us a little hashtag mortars or like, what was it? Hashtag bring, bring in mortars or something like that. So Someone I'm said deployable mortars or something. Pretty sure that this is already like on their mind that we're going to get rid of already and move it to mortars, which I think would just be, and I, I think this is the community also thinks like, it'd be a great idea because the the recon is some one of the best like games to play but it is so miserable when you just have arty that is super consistent yeah please just yeah leave us alone like just i don't think people even realize how powerful that class is because they always just get stuck spawn yeah. camping yeah exactly it's just so ridiculous yeah. Um, when yeah. when we play Rats, the the few times we played recon, like we never go spawn camping the artillery because just harassing the backline of garrisons, as you mentioned, so like what, if you know where the garrisons are going to be, being able to harass that and and take those garrisons out is so powerful. Yeah, but you know you're hamstringed by the fact that you do have to deal with the arty because you're the only one that can, and it is the, the most boring fucking game loop ever. Yeah. Like, yeah, and OG says killing Artie is easy. Yeah, I, I think killing Artie is easy, but I don't think that's a problem. I think I think it's just a, to, to Mono's oh. point. Yeah, it's, it's a silly gameplay loop because, like, you're sitting there the entire time and your job is to simply just camp one spot the whole game. You walk game. away, then you go back three minutes later once Correct. it starts up again. Correct. So I think uh, it would be more utilized in, like, working the back lines, being a sniper rather than just, like, camping one spot over and over. And that's goes back to why I hate Hill 400 because you're sitting there doing nothing. Like, I would love to have just more dynamic gameplay. If we are able to move around more, like tanks able to move around faster, in my opinion, uh, hot take, like there'd be more dynamic gameplay. But with everything moving so slow or like staying still, that's when I fail to have fun because then it's just like I'm just sitting there waiting for people to pass. Like, okay. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. I, if that if that goes that way and recon can actually like do fun shit and take down backline garrisons, 
I'm oh, ready yeah. for all the cheat the cheating Avenue pings we're gonna get. Oh, I know. My <laughs> God, it's gonna be insane. Um, so a um, lot of people. Sorry, go ahead. No, 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 nothing. Go ahead. I, I was saying a lot of people were upset with the in-game store. So I, I really, again, like I, I think it's just a way that they can go ahead and monetize the game more, like just directly through the game. So instead of having to go to Steam, make the purchase, you just click a little store page and then you just purchase it right in the store. So I don't They're just think cutting the middle, man. Yeah. That's all it is. Like, why would you want to yeah. go ahead and, and like cut 30% off your profits and give it to Steam when it's just like a, you know, like a $5 purchase already? You, you shouldn't, you know? So I think it's a, it's a you great know, idea. You know what it could be? So yeah, there's that where you could just buy DLC in game, but I just had a thought about um, uh, Hunt Showdown. Right, I play Hunt Showdown a lot, and they have an in-game yeah. store as well as Steam DLC. But in the in-game store, um, there's a lot of stuff you can buy with their premium currency that doesn't exist in the Steam DLC because it's in the game. You just need to buy the premium currency first. Maybe they're going to go that route, that route, Good. and have premium like war like bombs or something. Yeah, battle pass. But, hell you know, I don't yeah, think there's they'll, a lot they'll of people have a that, battle pass. Yeah. But there's a lot of people that don't like this, yeah, in-game store. I, well, part, but we just need to see what they're gonna do. If they're gonna go in and start being crazy with cosmetics and premium currency, then if you're not happy about it, kick off about it. And I will, yeah. to be honest. But I'm not happy about it, yeah. and I'll kick off. I, I don't I know. Don't care like, why I sign with Team I, Seventeen? I'll kick off at them. I, I think. Oh I well, think yeah, a lot I made a whole people... video against them. <laughs> I think a lot of people um, are thinking about the in-game store and they're saying, like, oh, is this going to be pay to win? Is this, you know, which, like, you would have to change the game so much for you to be able to, like, buy a weapon that not that other people aren't able to use or something like that. Like, that's not the way it's going to be. So it's it's going to be cosmetic DLCs, like uniforms and stuff like that. I wonder if they're going to do cosmetics for tanks like they will i would see that like i i yeah they probably will because that would make a lot of sense to I sell mean, to, those to be, before you go on the back that they basically already did that with the inclusion of smart materials and keeping the current right. tank blank it's it's set up it's like it's ready to go and i guarantee you Correct. they already have them designed and ready to go like battle yeah. face Five. customization that was announced what a couple of years ago mm -hmm. what's that yeah, it's what? ready to go it's, it's on the just waiting it's on the Reddit banner. That. All the face customization with the goggles oh. and the pipe and cigar. What's oh, happened yeah, to that? Oh yeah, I do want my cigar. Yeah, yeah I want to give I mean... Mendez a cigar. <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's probably going to happen. That's that's probably what the store is going to be like. And I think a lot of people like say like, oh, you know, like they're just going to focus on DLC, whatever. It's like, dude, like you want to, you want six more years of updates for this game? Like they have to get the money somewhere that is not the purchases you know Man, like listen, i yeah. bought the game three years ago and didn't spend like I, I i bought the game for 20 bucks never spent another single peso on it you know just give me my uh non-verbal communication give me some finger uh, guns and i'm uh, good i'm good i don't know why you don't like it. i i think the non-verbal communication is totally fine if you play in squad I mean, Squad, it works perfectly fine. I cannot wait to be but, driving a tank out of spawn at the start of the game and have like 10 people staying on the front of it just doing shit in my face. <laughs> all right, it, do we know for, for a fact that it's going to be gestures? I'm almost 100%. The, the logo I hope on not. it is this. That's what it is. But it, it's because just like a maybe it's like a, like a squad, uh, uh, like the squad leader has, you know, the icons. Like a Comoros, uh, like, like I hope it's yeah. like how Battlefield Five did it, where you can ask like what the objective is and stuff like that, and it's super yeah. simple. I don't well, need give me some preset lines. Yeah, like I would you, love uh, preset lines, dude. Yeah, yeah bring up a Comoros. I think that would like, be. I've spotted a tank far more over helpful. here. Yeah, and it yeah. that would be helpful. Yeah. Like yeah, because really, people... when you're in a fast-paced battle and everyone's moving around, are you going to notice someone going? But that's no. that's what you squad does. Not that's until they run up in front does. of your face. You, yeah, damn it. Sucks, so <laughs> yeah, but like it, it really doesn't change anything at all, and that's why I think it's like an easy way to go ahead and the, make the, money. The, the I place the satchel emote is gonna be like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I don't I want it to you. Husk running around with all the hundreds of dollars of, of nonverbal communication no. is going to be the highlight of my day. When oh. I see him like walking up, he's like, 
Or they, no. they do, uh, what is it, uh, Destiny? They have, like, the, the co-op uh, emotes where you, like, like, walk up and you can high-five someone. <laughs> That'd be great. No, that that would be the worst, dude. Yeah. The I would much dance. rather see people spamming the, like, <gasps> enemy spotted. No, 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 no. Like, you, you know, like, everyone running or in the truck at the start of the game just spamming the shit out of the, the voice lines. I'll like, take that ten times out of ten over emotes. Just Alpine dude, sniper. People, people, like... were, people will complain about that and say, like, yeah, it's not realistic. It's like, dude, negative, negative, like, do you not negative, want to have fun negative. in a video game? Because that's one of the funniest shit you can do, like spam nah, voice man. lines. No, fuck that. You um, can do that now just with your voice. Just yeah. sit there and go, no, no, no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or like the, the people that play the music through their freaking mics. Oh, my God. Oh God. Too funny. But yeah, exactly. I mean, you can already do that. I they should really... make the voice lines sound like Operation Flashpoint, the first one. <laughs> I never, I never played. That I one. never. Give played us an example. So it'd be like, man, thirty-five meters north. Oh, west. <laughs> oh that'll be you. no. <laughs> it's like he recorded every word individually. Yeah, yeah. three, they five, did. five, zero, four Version three dude. meters. In-game store, Enemy you can download tank. the hell of this voice for your meters. Google Maps. Dude, hear me out. I, I told Wombat, I was like, listen, if you need someone like on fire like the screaming voice line like i'll i'll be your man like i'll scream at the top of my lungs if you put me in the game <laughs> screaming that was so some of the voice funny. lines some of the dying voice lines already are so funny man oh yeah, yeah. like, the like they go one, on ah, for ah, so ah, long ah, ah, ah. i love that one that well, that's so the community funny. voice lines ain't it mm -hmm. are they mm -hmm. yeah that's so funny yeah 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 um all right let's go ahead and move over to september so uh, in my video of the uh, of the roadmap, I think this is actually one of the most interesting updates. Uh, the Windows 10 version of Hello Loose, and I'll circle back to that. They're going to do more map refreshes in Hello Loose. The Steam Deck version, which Mono and I were talking about last night, and then the premium uh, DLC. So let's start with the Windows 10 version. Here's what I think. I think because Team 17 has already their games on this, uh, and they have a good partnership with Microsoft. I think that they're looking to move it to Game Pass. That's what I think. Yeah, I put Game in, Pass version confirmed. Yeah, that'd be smart. That'd be very I'm smart. A hundred percent certain that's what they're gonna do. I actually yeah. put a poll on Reddit to ask the community if they would be interested in uh, Hello Loose on um, Game Pass. Who would and, say no to that, <laughs> dude? A lot of people. <laughs> So why? Because they feel like they got ripped off. Yeah. So here's here's the breakdown. So I had uh, 79 people, uh, 182 votes. 79 percent. Uh, sorry, 79 votes voted for yes, and 103 people voted for. Mono is no. a man of the no people, so I need to hear what he has to say. Yeah. Um, I like. Don't get me wrong. Like I'm all for you know making this game more widely known. Um, but I think like this, the, the, the audience for this game could like, it just imagine the sheer influx of people that don't give a fuck about tactics or strategy or team play or communication or anything that the game is going to get flooded by if this goes free to play on the, the game pass store. Like there's going to be so many people that that are going to be playing this game that shouldn't be playing this game because it's not the game for them you know like and it's all it's okay if you're playing like forza horizon and you're driving a car around and that's free to play like yeah fine whatever or halo or whatever but this is such like this is a game that actually requires people to be invested in it and that's when fair. you give it for free to a bunch of people you're just going to have like the, the gates are going to be open and it's going to be flooding with people who, that are just going to be fucking around and the match quality is going to like take a nosedive. Oh yeah, we've all been there for free weekends. I don't think so. I, don't think, I think I think I th that may happen initially, but those players won't last. Just like those yeah. players who play I, like yes, that now don't I agree. Last. Yes. You know, I they're going to come in. That. Oh, it's a running simulator. I keep getting shot from invisible people in bushes. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, deep pockets. Yeah, like it's to gonna see. be the worst. <laughs> if when they do it, if it's they do be it, it's free to play like weekend, that first extended. month for, for like a while. Like yeah, for a while. I'm gonna take vacation that week, that month. Like not, you know, don't play Hell Loose that month. Like but no. 
escape. But yeah, so so I, I would disagree with Mono and 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 uh, Deep Pockets here. Welcome to the stream. It says that uh, it was free on PlayStation for a month. Yeah, yeah when it launched. So so I think I think it's already been free once. I think that but everyone was in the same boat for the PlayStation correct. on then. Correct. And Xbox because it was launched. I think the difference, and I think the way they're building it out is positive because they're gonna have the tutorial by this time. The tutorial is coming out in July. Yes, that is, is in good September. Point. That's true. So with the tutorial, again, fingers crossed that it's a good tutorial, but hopefully it'll have people join. On PC, I think we'll see a lot less of an influx of like these new players uh, where on console, like Xbox specifically, you're going to have a huge influx of what you're talking about, Mono. But on PC, we have the community servers. So you're still going to have the same people playing on the community service. Yeah, you're going to have a lot more new players and stuff. But, I mean, you're still going to have those core servers that play like like our server, right? That's a lot more like higher levels. And then something like Dealer's Den, right? Which is still a great server, but you're going to have those and or that, that new one they opened up um, that are designed for new players, right? So there's still always going to be new player servers. Maybe those new players like the game so much that they get new servers and so on and so forth. So I think there will still be a spot that you could go into a server to have a new experience for new players, but you're still going to also have those servers that are dedicated to moderate to veteran players and still have a good time. I, I have two words. Newbie commander. Yeah, <laughs> like but the, like the again, sheer amount of like level 10 commander saying like, oh no, I used to play commander in Battlefield 3. Like, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, like I, I get it. I get it. But I think I think that's all due and, and and fresh, I think this is why they wouldn't get rid of uh, uh, the community servers is because the community servers can manage that. Yeah. They, they do a lot of work busy. for them. Yeah. But like, they're going to be more busy than they are now. But still, I think, I think overall, the way I look at it, more players equals more opportunity for money. More money equals more uh, like DLC, maps, factions, battles for us. That's the way I look at it. So any way yes. that we can monetize the game, yeah. mm. any way that we can get more people to play the game, if this becomes like Battlefield level player base, we're going to see so much more content rather than And I think technically technically Battlefield became hell loose level yeah. uh, player base. Yeah, which <laughs> yeah. is crazy. And like with the latest like with Battlefield 3042 there's more people playing the, I mean there used to be more people playing Hell of Loose than Battlefield. And I think to like, <clears throat> to rest everyone's concerns, we're like, oh, it's going to turn into Battlefield and stuff. It's not. Hell of Loose is going to keep doing Hell of Loose is on the winning track right now. They're Correct. not going to change it to adjust to something that's failing. They're not going to try and compete with Call Why would they even bother trying to compete with those games? What they're doing is working, and they know that. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, if if they're, if they up, are baby? smart about it, like if they are actually smart about it, that's why I don't think the community servers are going to go away. You're probably going to have to run a separate server for the separate game modes or something. I'm fine but, with that. I think that's the best way to go. Like, yeah, but because they, like, they, if they, if you think for two seconds that you can take out the community servers and have this game still be alive, like, no, the competitive scene would be dead. Just yeah, boom, true. dead, true. Straight but away. not even the competitive scene, dude. Just like the the PC player base would absolutely die. Like, I wouldn't play non-community servers ever uh gritson's yeah. in the chat what's up gritson i don't even play servers that have multiple community servers <laughs> when you when the community starts having more than one server i'm like oh i don't know about this guys <laughs> the one thing you were saying raz is that yeah more players coming in would see more cosmetics dlc stuff like that i think that's maybe the wrong way to look at it if you see more and more players yeah that should see more money going into the game and really, how Team 17, I think, will and should look at that. Uh, yeah, they'll probably make more DLC for the game, but that would lead to them putting more investment into just building up Hell Let Loose and Hell Let Loose going forward, like if there's a Hell Let Loose right. too. Instead of having uh, like a team of, say, I'm going to make up numbers, 50 members, maybe they'll have a team of 75 instead to try and put a lot more into it. You know? Yeah, I mean... Do you guys think... Sorry, sorry no go ahead go ahead no no you're good you're good i was gonna change subject i was gonna say like <laughs> do you guys think the steam deck version is an actual like oh we want those steam decks steam deck sales or is it like if we target this hardware we know the game's gonna run better for everyone that's a really but, good question I, I keep hearing it's for linux people 
That, that is like, that is that's the only thing I've heard about the Steam Deck. Uh, thing. It that, seems that, pointless to develop that, this game for Steam Deck. That is the Linux Linux people like still like championing the Linux flag. Like oh, you know, eventually Linux we will won. take over the world. Yes, eventually Linux will win. Like no, it's not for the Linux people. The the I've seen multiple devs talk about this and say always the case with Linux is the the amount of money that you have to put out for customer support specifically for Linux is not worth the sales like never because yeah. you know you just have to well, support so that. much hardware on linux and then uh, i i mean i've not on hella loose no, i like i'm not talking about hella loose i i've seen devs talk about this as a broader subject yeah. right like you know 1% of our sales were on linux the dev costs associated to linux were like 10% of the qna you know like that doesn't make any sense um yeah i mean I can just say I'm excited to just poop on the Steam Deck players. That's a fact. Who the fuck in their right mind is going to play this game on Steam Deck? That's just a yeah, bad on the time. toilet for 90 minutes. Oh yeah, my I god. Just... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Someone needs to make that a meme and post that on Reddit like the Steam Deck players. Commanding like, a match. Like you're going to hold it dude. right up to your face. Plop. Here That's comes the bombing guy. run. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, I've, um, I've just seen something interesting the about the Steam Deck. You're going to hear version. the plop of the mic. <laughs> <laughs> And a slight Stuka echo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why is our commander sound like he's in a bathroom? <laughs> the fucking they like them. bathroom echo. Uh, I got go I got someone the on Steam chat store page now. <sighs> yeah. And then uh, you can scroll down on the right to where it says Steam Deck compatibility <laughs> unsupported. Click learn more. And the reason why it's not supported on the Steam Deck at the minute is because the game's anti cheat is not configured to support Steam Deck. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. The easy anti cheat That's... doesn't work on the Steam Deck. Uh, so, apparently. Do you have a bunch They're of not going to get rid of it, right? They can't I, get I rid would, of no, it. Can't, I would say, dude, there's so many games that use easy anti cheat. Like, th there has to be at least one of them that has support for, for the Steam Deck. Like, no they're probably way. waiting for easy anti cheat to put out an update so it will be supported. And, you know, then they will make. Um, like an optimized version for the Steam Deck hardware because it's like a console; it's a fixed hardware. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah I just I don't know who in the right. Like honestly, how many people have Steam Decks? Do a lot of people have Steam Decks? I know the one dev that was. In the I've never seen like, one in real life. To be honest with you, no. I feel like one I fly a lot. And I've never seen uh, one. The, the number, Ever. the number. Somebody told me the other day was one million sales. Also. Uh, January 23, 2022, Steam Deck now supports easy anti-cheat games. So hmm. it has Maybe to be something to some, specific. Yeah, some yeah. sort of like firmware or something like that. But um, I, Scott says, I'm getting a Steam Deck just for this game. <laughs> Jesus. I, I have people on chat and I've had people on the YouTube comments say like, I have a Steam Deck. There's no fucking way I'm playing this. Yeah, on the house. it sounds Deck. terrible. Like, not, if you, you know. have a Steam Deck, you probably have a PC. I don't think people like get a Steam Deck just to play Steam Deck. No. Like they just have it supplemental to, like they basically use it as a yeah. uh, uh, switch for their for single player games, right? Like the, I mean, that's the only yeah. reason why you would get it. Like oh, I don't go play. We all get it on our iPhones and shit. Oh my Hell god! Mobile. I mean, the the Steam Deck is like the switch for people that aren't into like Nintendo games, I guess. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, those people are crazy, but. I am very interested. Like, it's just funny how the one dev in the in the video in, in the release video is like, I have a Steam Deck and I'm excited to play Hell Loose. They didn't show like, the gun being held to his head off screen. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, there is no <laughs> way in your right mind you want to go ahead and play this game on Steam Deck. Like, that's Artillery. crazy. Artillery. Artillery. Just like, oh my you god. Know, switch position. That would hit, be nice. hit and reload. Hit and Actually. reload. Like. You're all a the time, psychopath. Like that's all I do for ninety minutes. <laughs> oh my god! Like in the park, racking up ninety plus kills Does in the your artillery last on a sunny day on a Steam Deck. Like Jesus Christ! Oh, on, on lasts, Kristen like, says on Steam Deck, you four? can only commend players. <laughs> 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 you're like the you're like the Admin guy cam. that just gives everyone like the ribbons at the end of the war. <laughs> it's for, here, here to support the team any way I can. <laughs> it's for RP. Like, it's like the Minecraft simulator. You're just building defenses all game. 
they they add the cameraman class only for Steam Deck Dude, players. I, like you, you see what, people with the camera, like that's one thing I do want in Hell Loose. I will tell you, one of my favorite things in post scriptum mm -hmm. is the cameraman. We need this. I am starting a petition to get the damn camera into Hella Loose. That is the what best we need to do. genius idea. I have a suggestion. It's not for oh, it's... any of us here. It's a suggestion for Husk if he's still in the chat. Oh, Husk is definitely here. Husk is he's, everywhere. He's so excited to hear this. Just make a video where you're a war reporter on the front line or something, and you're trying to interview soldiers as they get them blown up. Do that. <laughs> 90% of his and videos, we'll I feel that. like, already. <laughs> we'll use that as a petition Dude. to get an official class in. It would be oh awesome God. if, imagine if you actually had a, a cameraman class and you had, um, like, the screenshots, the, the, the footage at the end of the game, like, uh, after the scoreboard. <laughs> Like just it scrolling. goes through like a like a fucking um <laughs> just a memoir of like yeah. you lost along the way, <laughs> dude. That would be awesome. Dang, I don't know, man. Oh yeah, sorry. So to clarify, uh, there was a knocking sound. Thank you, Morbid. He gave a uh, sound alert, and I almost pooped my pants because that sound alert was terrifying. Thank you for the biddies. <laughs> the 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 knocking is like such a realistic sound. It's so creepy. Um, Hassani has two of those videos already. <laughs> No. <laughs> Jesus. Oh yeah, everyone was so confused. Sorry. I, I'm sure Spotify I, is gonna love that. I don't think we're gonna be able to touch upon this, but uh one of the things I actually wanted to talk about was uh Terry, you made a video on this, like the road the the X roadmap, right? Like the flak panzer, stuff like that. Anti a like AA guns. I always thought those were pretty shitty ideas, and I'm actually like it didn't make sense. Glad that they didn't make it into the game because, like, what would you well, use the AA gun coming. for? You know, like I, I think they could still, still be coming. But, All the stuff you know, that they like, announced, like they've got to be like months in work already. Like, like with the with the British, they're coming with two yeah. new maps. Like that's already been worked on for the past like year. For There's sure. a lot of stuff that's been done for years. Like Remagen yeah. was done way before right. it came out. A long time. But like, like there's the British have been done for a while. I feel like, and same with a lot of these tanks. Yeah, Trav Tra yeah. said too the emplaced heavy machine guns, like the the fifty cal's. That's been like a thing that they've like that and mortars has been a thing they've been working on for a long time. Yeah. 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 Um, commander abilities. Dude, the, too? the barrel overheating mechanics were first shown off. Like I want to say two years ago, in the, on the Kickstarter. They showed off the animation to change out the MG42 barrel. Oh, that'd be cool. But, you know, they rem they didn't want it. They you know, removed it from the game. So it could be that this other stuff has been removed as well. Maybe they changed their mind on it. It could be simple. Yeah. It's simple. Who on knows? Yeah. You get Wombat on here. I know. I don't know. Wombat. Wombat. I, I, don't I don't think. I don't think AA guns would add much to the game. It's like, I think they'd be uh, fun. It's, it's basically a counter UAV if you add flak and stuff to the game. I so think it'd be, it would be like an automatic uh, uh, Luke's. <laughs> it's just destroy Another useless tank? Thing. Okay. I'm, I'm oh. here for it, baby. I'm here for <laughs> oh. it. I want nothing more than Luke's to get a buff in this game. I, they need to revert it back to where oh, the man, fuck it was you before. want to break the game? You want the Luke's to actually break the Dude, entire game? Dude, the Luke's game? was better than it was. They reduced the splash damage on it a couple updates ago. Yeah. It was really good. Grissom says the Flak Panzer could shred infantry, soft targets, and lightly armored vehicles, and any commander Collins that use aircraft. If I had my way, so yeah. better Luke's. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like it would be almost too good. I feel like how would how would you counter like a bombing run? Like, well, a bomber comes in and you have a Flak Panzer. How would the bomber potentially counter that? I don't think it would. No, so. you have to get a tank to blow it up. Yeah, get the weight. I, yeah, I, I'm not into that. I, I use, don't want to um, see that in Use a game. recon plane. If the recon plane gets shot down, well, we need to take out the AA first. Okay, if we're talking about commander abilities, I have something so small I can't believe is in the game yet. Why don't they let you do commander abilities? Like, you know, you can pick the direction it comes in. Why do they not let you do 360 on that? Why is it always, like, predetermined? Like, oh. you can go with this diagonal. Up. You can't just fucking rotate yeah, it a little there's bit. There's always that one. It drives yeah. me fucking crazy, and I don't understand why. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I'm interested to see if they continue the asymmetrical uh, commander call-ins because I really do like how the bomber is different than the Katusha. And I would like if, say, on Omaha or Utah... Buff and... the Katusha. What's that? Buff the Katusha, please. Yeah, yeah. But, but like, 
uh, in, that, in that essence, uh, we played this game, all of us actually played Easy Red 2, really interesting game made by one person. One of the things they had that I thought was an ingenious idea was for the Americans on Omaha, on Utah, have the battleships. Dude, why can't we just have, like, instead of a bombing run, like a battleship gun, like, volley, you know? An artillery barrage. Yeah. That would like, be that'd be sweet. That would be absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. like, That's a little thing. Like that. Yeah. Call. But it would be cool oh. if they had some different, yeah, coastal batteries. Yeah, some some different niche things. I don't know how much work that would be. There's so many I, little yeah. things I want fixed. They still haven't even yeah. fixed the explosions from vehicles yet. Oh, my Stri- God. Stri- yeah, it's driving me crazy that, seeing that. The 2D. What is 2D? up with it? It's like the, the it's like duplicated. shimmering yeah. like it's double explosion thing. And the problem is that like it's not look you're not looking at it flat. For some reason, whenever you look at it, it's the it's the corner of it. So it's flashing between both sides of the 2D image. And so it just keeps Dude, like swapping. It's the, That's so it's weird. The worst. Yeah. It's the worst. Yeah. That's so like I weird. I was recording footage the other day on the admin cam. And it's like, oh, I want to catch, you know, this tank exploding. And it's like, no, because it looks so bad. I know. That's like the number one comment I get on like everything is like, you always look at your map instead of watching the explosions. I'm like, you're not missing anything. I need tank. I'm helping you. Bad. Uh, (laughs) Yeah. So let's keep moving here. Uh, So we got the last month, December. So with December here, we have um, the new tutorial system. The new game mode skirmish, which we anticipate is, uh, we'll talk about it here in a second, but like a uh, team deathmatch like game. Battle oh, of Danzig, which will be the new map. Um, that's the small map they're working on. The yeah, winter that's war. Yeah, map. Yep. And the Finnish and Polish, which is probably one of the biggest announcements. We'll circle back to that. New clan system, updated game audio and soundtrack, which if they do not add that fury like whistle of, of a tank shell or high velocity, I'm going to lose it. And then mm-hmm. premium DLC. So let's go ahead and start off new tutorial system. So are they like adding? We more talked about this. Some extra, like, extra stuff yeah. to it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they're they'll add a tutorial and then they'll add the gun range. Yeah. Yeah. You know, That'll be cool. Something like that. Um, the new game mode. So uh, I'm getting a lot of uh of people on TikTok that really do not like the idea of smaller game modes. Um. Yeah, I, I, dude, I'm telling you, a lot you don't of have are like, to play it. You don't have to play yeah, it. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, do you guys think it's a good idea to add like a team deathmatch kind of game? Yeah, mode? absolutely. You're honestly, yeah, well, it's gonna uh, make it's gonna make warfare 100%. better because you're gonna have like you know how we're talking about earlier. You're gonna get all these people in that want to play it like Call of Duty. Now they have an option. They're not gonna be playing warfare with you. It could make your warfare matches better. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. That's a good point. I, like like they said in the video, not everyone's got an hour and a half to play Hell Let Loose, play a full game. So I swear they said Skirmish was... I swear they said it's going to be 30, 35 v 35, no tanks. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 45 Hot minutes take. or something? Something like that? So yeah, you yeah, can just 30, jump in 30 and do to that 40 instead. minutes. Hot take, they should reduce the hour and a half long match time to like an hour. I think an hour would be fun. Like I, I want a one hour warfare mode. Because, I want like, overtime I know warfare so mode though. For doing many that. Peop- yeah, yeah. That yeah, would be yeah, that sure. Would be, yeah, that would be good. Yeah. Uh, but dude, uh, I know so many people that don't play this game because they go like, you know, I can play for like two hours on a Friday night, and that in Hell Loose is one match, and then I can't actually start another match, you know. Uh, while I go play whatever, like World War Three, like I can play four or five matches of World War III in, in that time. If I go play, like, one of the shorter modes, that's, like, 10 modes, you know, 10, 10 matches. And the problem is, if that hour and a half match long of Hell of Loose that you had sucked, then, like, your entire night sucked, right? Like, you, you know, the entire experience was yeah, bad. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I'll, I'll give you some data to think about. Like, you know how we are talking about maps emptying servers earlier? So we look at a lot of this shit with our server and the number one thing that empties out a server at night is a 90 minute match. Doesn't matter on what a 90 minute match will kill a server. You could have steam rolls all night. Won't empty the server. doesn't matter what map it's on. It'll that's how these servers go through the night. Usually it's steam rolls. For some reason, people will hang out around longer the worst and get play the shitty better. 30. Yeah. The yeah. worst games they have, they stick around, but 90 minute oh, match I, wipes people out. Can you just, you know, as an interesting thing, maybe later, uh, 
it would be interesting to see if the losing team, you know, they're obviously trying to pass on to the winning team. Like maybe that's why they stick maybe. around because they, they go like, oh, you know, this match is going to be over in 10 minutes. I'm yeah. just going to hop onto the winning team once this is over. Right. Yeah, and then, you know, that, that, yeah, that liberates space for other people to join. Um, but yeah, man, the, the you cut out again. We lost you. There is no situation, Back. never, where I'm an hour and 10 minutes into the game and I'm like, yeah, I want to play the next 20, 20 minutes of this. <laughs> yeah. Like, never. I want to do this again. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. And people will say, like, oh, but you never, like, you're going to miss out on those long matches that then, you know, you win at the last second. Like, no, you're still going to have that in an hour. Well, you're just going to have it sh shorter. My ass hurts, but, but I, I'm ready. I really think they need to lower the the match time to an hour. Like, there's no point in it having it be 90 minutes. That, that should be admin controls. Going back yeah, to that, that'd be that'd be should, good. Should, should, should yeah. be admin controls for all, all that shit. Yeah, but then like you have on console like disparity. Like just to make it 90 minutes. You know. Yeah. I don't think anyone enjoys the hour and a half long matches. I don't know. Yeah. It's a long time, um, usually. It really, really yeah. is. Um, and then we got uh, Battle of Danzig. So, I mean, it's cool that they're developing, like, a, a, its own little map. I think, uh, you know, it would be really easy to also cut, cut, like, pieces of other maps and substitute them in there, too. So that way you're not reworking an entire map. Yeah. 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 That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I, I'm glad that they mentioned, like, that's going to be a very urban map. It because is, yeah. hopefully that means that they know that that's what they need to focus on. Like the the more urban maps is what people want. And then the Winter War, Finnish and Polish forces. Freaking awesome, man! I'm super excited. Yeah, I'm. There's really a lot. Excited. I don't. Th yeah, there's a lot. On I don't that think anyone now. saw that coming, dude. No, no. not at all. Like, and I things, never expected that. No, one of the things I was talking about uh, in the stream a little earlier was I'm really glad they're going this way, and I think they can go this way, where I think Battlefield did it incorrectly. So one of the big things about Battlefield Five that a lot of people didn't like, and the way they approached it was, oh, we're going to do battles that no one ever heard of, right? And Dumbest so like, idea ever. It was so many battles that no one had ever heard of. It's like, why? Like, it was just a regular game. Like, it wasn't a World War II game, right? Where I think Hella Loose approached a little different, where they have a lot of notable battles that it's like, oh, I'm going to Omaha Beach, or I'm going to St. Mary Iglesias, or I'm going to Foy, or, you know, like everywhere Band of Brothers is, like something that's relevant, something that people know. And then now that they've established their World War II game, they can then stretch their legs into maybe something that people don't really know as well. Some, you know, uncommon battles that were also bloody battles, you know, like, like major turning points in war, whatever the case is. Hmm. So I think they have that ability now that they have so much already established. But Battlefield Five, I think that's a huge failure on their part. They still have a whole lot of known battles that they haven't made though in Hell of Loose, like Battle of Berlin, Arnhem, Pegasus Bridge, um, Alamein, Tobruk. Uh, like yeah, there's like you know the Italian campaign. Like, there's so much that they could do. Uh, and if they play it smart, like, that, I kind of think, like, this leads me to believe that the British are going to, like, we're our, we are going to see um, desert maps, like, Africa maps, oh, because okay. it would we be such it. a huge LL change of scenario, yeah. uh, such a huge visual difference that it could be very easily marketed, you know, as like, oh, you know, like, look at what's coming into Hell of Loose, like, desert mm -hmm. maps. And not just like, oh, it's another French map, you know? More hedgerows. Uh, <laughs> yeah, more hedgerows. Um, but yeah, dude. Um, I mean, the fact... I, I think we were all blown away by two factors. One is the announcement of the British and the Finnish, like, nobody expected. And second, and more well, more importantly, Polish, probably Polish is Finnish. Polish. Sorry. Yeah, um, was like we are starting with 1939, and we're gonna go forward. You know, with one year per year of the war, like that is massive news. Yeah, that is that that pretty much confirms that the Pacific Front is coming. Yeah, 
Well, I think my oh, biggest yeah, thing yeah. that I took away from the roadmap is, know you know, that. on top of that is they came out swinging, dude. It's like, we have a plan. Like, having it, they, yes. they might not do it, but they have a plan, a very clear plan, and that is so refreshing to hear. That, you know, they're not, they're not going to be like, you're just getting a new map later this year. It's not just a new map. They're telling you specifically what they're doing. Yeah. And that's within eight months now that you're going to get three new factions, a bunch of new maps, a bunch of new vehicles. That is a lot of content in eight months. That well, is a lot. Well, think about the amount of vehicles, right? So each team has a supply truck and a transport truck, a half track. That's three, right? They have the scout and then they have the light, medium, heavy, and then heavy alternate potential, right? And then what else do they have? I mean, then they have... All, all the, the, the different airplanes. The com commander call-in. Yeah. So yeah. the the supply supply slash whatever uh recon, recon bombing run strike. and then every single and gun which is, like... is countless so that's 11 basic things they need for each oh and, and the jeep i forgot the jeep as yeah. well um and then yeah so that's like that's, that's a what, lot i don't dude. think there's a lot i don't think the polish will have vehicles though because they announced the polish what? specifically for that battle of Danzig map and they said that's going to be an infantry map. So we might them a big and, and that commander abilities and that commander abilities would be different. So you know, like maybe should, there's no vehicles. I think they should try and make a full faction for them. Yeah, you know, I, I would like to see some Soviet v Poland maps in there because you know Soviets weren't always on the uh, Allied side. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, so interesting. So much yeah, content, but think about all the car ninety eight uh, car ninety eights that will be broken in the process, <laughs> and all the all the car <laughs> the SMGs yeah. are next, dude. <laughs> God, but yeah, I'm just really excited. Like, I think they they did what the community wanted in the sense that you know they announced the general road roadmap for this year, and they also gave an outline of what they want to do for next year because that's pretty huge. Like, they put that in the video that they specifically said, like, think of it as each year we we go past is a year of the war starting with 1939 like that's like, like verbatim of what they mentioned so yeah. will it come to fruition like we'll battlefield see. 5 i mean we, we've seen failures in the past i hope 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 that's not what this happens but like i'm thinking by xbox game pass by monetizing as much like we don't get by the way like like I know it goes around some from time to time. Like we get mononetization from like selling hell loose. We do not at all. <laughs> no, like, we were no, free, no, man. If I would be so happy someone, if I did. I would be so happy if I did. Team seventeen employee. Yeah. Yeah. Call me team seventeen. <laughs> if there's money yeah, to be had, never like, signed anything. With we haven't seen anything uh, at yeah. all. <laughs> now, even with Black no. Matter, I never signed anything. So like, yeah. Uh, uh, but I'm asking you guys, like, just j like I'm hoping that we give them a chance. I I'm really excited for all the new updates they're coming out with. Like me personally, I'm like, I'm getting all the, I already bought the DLC for the, for the, of course. the I always do. Yeah. I mean, like I, I if you like something, DLC. support it. If Dude, you don't want to support it. it, then don't. Yeah. I, I really believe in the vision of hell loose. I, it's my favorite game. I feel like I owe them after like 2000 plus hours of the game. Like that, you know, I've paid what 30 bucks for it. I think about all the 60, $70 games I bought that I played for a couple hours. And I'm like, mm -hmm. well, shit. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um. So, man, I'm just I super I can't get out of the Latino mindset that like, oh, I paid twenty bucks and I got like two thousand hours Dude, out of this. Good. It's a good deal. <laughs> I got to keep that ratio going. <laughs> oh, Pig actually uh, says something interesting. Picking up ammo or weapons. I don't know about sure. weapons, but I think ammo would be cool. You know what? I really like yeah, Battlefield. Does fine. Do what he picking can. up ammo, ammo off books. people. Well, uh, like like uh off i guess enemy players are talking about it, I, it doesn't matter you, you don't your life is pointless as infantry and hell you don't die really, when you run ammo like it's, it'd be fine if you run there, out of ammo it, it's whatever you run out of ammo you just go die yeah yeah i mean oh. that would be solved by picking up different weapons but again like most of the time you're dead before you need more ammunition yeah. so, i've just seen something um you might ron? actually bring this up Brass. yeah ron yeah um, about a creator code they're bringing in an in-game store maybe they'll be bringing some sort of war correspondent creator code into the in-game store oh maybe. i don't know yeah well, that would be great. Those fucking loot boxes and battle pass i'll sell that shit one of the things <laughs> one of the things they did uh i i've suggested multiple times that i think would be awesome because again like they have smart materials they have uh on, on every gun by the way like every gun has smart materials right now and every uh uh vehicle 
has smart materials. Thank you to our boy Danny. I think Danny said he he like literally spent so much time creating those. So I think they should do freaking Twitch uh, drops, dude. Bring more people to watching the smart. game. Smart, like easy. I mean, like it can't be that hard to model like one gun. And like, hear me out. I'm talking like, okay, you have a Car 98. Maybe it's like a Car 98 with like a couple, like a little bit of foliage or fo foliage. Sorry, foliage on it. There you go. Yeah, some like, uh, camouflage. Some yeah. foil you'll put on it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Aluminium tin foil, foil. Tin foil hat. The like. opposite of what a sniper wants. <laughs> yeah. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like as little as that. Boom. You watch X amount of hours of Hell Loose, uh, or or you use a creator code or whatever the case is. Boom. You get that that skin or that that thing. I'm nothing crazy. Yeah. Like, not like not like. I mean, I don't. I don't. I, I mean. A gold Tommy, all right, but there's... yeah, yeah some people are, are, are fine scared about as that. As long as the most extreme aspect of a weapon skin is there's a little bit of foliage on it. That's the extreme. Agreed. Yep. I mean, yep. like the color yeah. could be different too. Like they, like it could be like a little like battle damaged or like yep. a little like burnt yep. or smart way doing it. Black Scratch or marks something. on it for yep. the kills. That, that would exactly. yeah. that would be the smart way of doing it. Etch something on it. Like yeah. I, again, Battlefield did reasonably okay uh with with most of it there was, Going there was back, a couple like the like the generic dude, there's ones. like a red and black camouflaged skin for every single one of them well, just like the the he's, he's concerned. Just he's concerned. we're talking about a game that's going to incorporate polish and finnish factions like i feel like they're going to go more on the realistic side yeah. i can't imagine them being like hey, we want to do something so niche and then be like here's a fucking yeah. pink mp40 or something but dude yeah. like, no, i think i yeah. think it's going to be kept very semi-realistic at the moment i mean like hopefully they understand Hear that's the audience they need to appeal to a winter yeah. camo tiger yeah why can't we get yeah. that why can't we get that? Pay to win, baby. It's only matter That's going to be pay to win. Dude, That's going to be five you. bucks, and it's going to camouflage <laughs> your your tiger very well on, Dude, on all the snow I'm telling you, I want it's, it's coming. a winter tiger. I don't care what anyone says. Or like a damage. Like, I'll oh. drive that thing through fucking Normandy as a power move. It, exactly. Dude, <laughs> a tank that gets like the kills on the side as yeah. you play. Exactly. I would pay so much money for yes. that. Oh yeah, yeah. dude. And like, I'm not even like a tank a, a main. veteran. You roll back to like HQ that. is a fucking baller when you're out of ammo. <laughs> oh my god. Like, oh dude, yeah, the legendary skins would be like like active skins, so they would like count kills or something like that. Oh, that'd be Man. cool. Really Could cool. you imagine like amazing. those people that like like Alpine, like he kills like a hundred people in one game? Like his his entire gun is just like <laughs> fucking <laughs> destroyed. But man, there's a there's a there's a board hanging out of the gun with like a you know like a oh, how do you call it? Gr graphics and clan tags painted on skins, and and that could be part of the clan like like stuff they're bringing in too. Yeah, wait to make a giant I, penis yeah, on that. A beer that. tank. A bit, it's gonna be a penis oh, yeah. tank. You're not getting a beer yeah, tank. You're getting a penis right. tank. If we were able to do that, yeah. dude. They right. giant they cock just never... rolled in the battle. They didn't <laughs> talk about the whole like. Um, Patches would be great. Yeah, yeah. No, the the the, the clan feature. Yeah, no, they, they mentioned didn't. it and what, didn't say anything about what it. What do you guys think that is? Like, I I feel like again, that's probably more so to do with uh with. It looks like a rank system, judging by those flags right there. Yeah, like like some sort of. If thing you're gonna have for the a, a team deathmatch mode in there, like or an eighteen versus eighteen, there's gonna be a ranked league for that, which is fine. I mean, if they want to go that route for for that stuff, it's big enough scene. You got clans yeah. of fifty plus people. You can spare a few of them. Maybe it'll enable some sort of competitive mode on the console version. Yeah. Where clans yeah. can actually fight against other clans. Dude, do you hear how they have to do that mm -hmm. right now? So what they have to do oh, is they have yeah, to Oh, like... yeah, that is the craziest thing. You want to explain it, Mono? You're going to explain it. Um, <laughs> as far as I know, uh, they basically match make at the same time and, you know, like get a couple of people hopefully into like a empty server and you know then they just add through the friends list like they will squad up they will they will party up with you know four four players bring those four players in then party up again like dismiss that party party up again bring another four players but and just they, repeat that until they'll the roll the full. servers so they're like they'll like completely throw the game to oh try yeah, to like yeah, yeah, that too. Get their friends in. Get Which the map. again, I'm, it makes sense, but it sucks for everyone else that's playing. Is like, oh man, <laughs> my team isn't doing anything. If I've taken yeah. anything away from the two hours we've been talking, I'm never playing this game on console. Oh, oh my god. 
it, man it's fun. you would have it's so fun. much fun it really is fun. Fun. like <laughs> you keep saying that so there's, you talk there's about so many bad things wine. but but like it's just because i've had the fine wine it's hard to go you know to like the club soda it's like yeah. you're drinking a fine wine down the fucking sewer or something dude it's it like no, no. when mono and i go in tanking in in console so minimum fun. 100 kill game 20 God. vehicle yeah. kills it's ungodly <sighs> And then yeah, you have I would say run the around minimum is a like hundred dodgeball kills. scene from minimum. Uh, from minimum. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. it's ungodly how how it easy is. it is. You just, dude, imagine if we actually had like uh, uh you know a couple of guys playing on console and we had like a repair station and an engineer oh, like pocket That's engineer with a tank. That console. would be like like that would be so broken. The most yeah. basic teamwork. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Dude, I imagine a game. Uh, we played like a clan game where we had uh, a tiger and a P4 uh, on PHL with like five or six repair stations around them, and it was impossible for them to die. Basically, they 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 yeah. needed to bombing run the whole thing for yeah. you know even a yeah, chance. Yeah, you, you can easily them. do that if you have enough people working together. But yeah, yeah, so... yeah. And once you do that, like the you know the tiger is unkillable basically because. There, there's no fire rate that can out out damage the the six or seven repair stations. Yeah, so we're a little over on time here, but in closing, what do you guys think? Uh, I think it was a good discussion, honestly. What do you guys think about Team Seventeen taking over their first update on Hell Loose? Their their roadmap, like what are, what do you guys think? Cautiously excited. Yeah, I think it's too early um, to tell how it's really gonna go, but yeah, definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, I think uh, I'm super excited about the future of Hello Loose more so than I've ever been, probably. Uh, I think, you know, what lies ahead is just incredible. And it is obviously very noticeable that they have more development power than ever, than ever before. I am cautious, though, about how they adapt to the fact that they just broke a couple of things with this, you know, 13.5 update. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of scary that oh, we broke the car ninety eight, we broke the bolt action rifles like entirely, and now you know there might or might not be this server lag thing going on. Uh, like I wonder how quickly they will solve those issues. You know, if there's not a hot fix out next week, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I'm. That would that would, yeah, I would be very worried if that were the case. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm really excited as well. I think uh, uh, I'm very cautiously excited, but um, I'm a little surprised uh, that they're investing more into Hell at Loose uh, 1 instead of closing down and moving to a Hell at Loose 2. That's what I'm more, more interested in. So I'm excited, but I'm cautiously I excited. I think, dude, the 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 uh, everyone talks about like a, a potential hell of this too, and I think uh, when you think about it, like this game has been growing steadily, right? And they bought this game and you know the IP for a hundred million dollars. That is a lot of money, and you know no, obviously they need to make that money back. Forty-five million. Yeah. You sure about that? Yeah. Yeah. We we looked it up. Uh, I think fairly recently. Yeah, it's like. Then why did why did that a hundred million figure get reported? Was this Austin Powers? One. Well, no, never mind. Dollars. <laughs> but yeah, um, still a lot of money. Yeah. Um. I think <laughs> like if you were to make a Hello Loose two, then that would probably slow down the game, the sales of Hello Loose one, and you would have uh you know a massive amount of time between starting development and putting it out a I product agree. that agree. is just a sequel and might not do as well as the first game while this game still definitely has a whole lot of room to grow and a lot of potential and you know you see the steam charts and there's like uh i don't know like uh there used to be like 2000 people playing this game regularly now there's almost 9000 that is a huge amount of people that is a huge amount of growth uh, so, you know, hopefully we see this, like, get much bigger numbers and, you know, just like, that's, that's the return on, on investment I think they want. 
Yeah, and and like Hess said, yeah, I, I don't see Hallelujah two anytime in the future right now. But no, but six months ago, I did. Yeah, yeah. So, I think it's awesome. Super, super excited for the future of Hell Loose. 10K in game right now. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's, that's, that's huge. That's huge. But Put that in yeah. perspective, Battlefield 24 and that's, is 10K and that's as well. not without the British update. Like, the British update, that's going to be like 20,000 people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's this insane. Is, this is going to be the biggest update yet, I think, for player-wise. Yeah. So, I think just a ton, a ton of exciting stuff. I'm uh, linking all their, their channels. We got Mono here, Mono Especial. Go ahead and check them out on Especial. YouTube. Especial. As a spatial Dude, every single time. We got Terry Dactyl over here, fresh baked goods. We got Husk so. and Alpine Sniper in the chat, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out. We're gonna be streaming live all day today, so be sure to stay tuned. We'll be right back after this short break. I love you guys, and we'll see you in a few minutes. See you Bye, later, everybody. Bye-bye. Yeah. All right, man. See ya.